whether it was the cold wind late at night, the moonlight peeking through the high clouds, or my senses as a skilled assassin, they all whispered. An assassin is kneeling on the ground, complimenting the assassin, once again, good job. The assassin raised his head and replied, thank you, Lord Derris. The person standing in front of the assassin was Derris Robert, the assassin thought to himself, they said they would die by this man's hands tonight. Derris said to the assassin, you have shown me a result worthy of the position of an influence, thanks to your work, our family has been able to progress significantly more than before. Assassin Round replied, I just did what I had to do sir. Derris looked at Round and said, I'm really curious, Round. Then, Derris asked Round, do you believe that a shadow needs freedom? Roan replied, we only need to carry out our master's orders, within us there is no such thing as thoughts, emotions or hearts, Derris praised what Rune said, good, so you also know well. But if you had known so, Derris clenched his hands, looking at Raun angrily, Raun also felt pressure to suppress himself, Derris asked, so why do you dare to act on your own? And how were you able to escape the brainwashing? After hearing what Derris said, Raun looked scared and wondered how, how did he know that? Speaking of brainwashing, Raun said, how Robert's family optimized the assassination team is by kidnapping or trafficking children, and turned them into assassins who would dedicate their lives to doing dirty work for the Robert family, in other words, they raised loyal dogs for the family. I was also brainwashed, but thanks to a chance encounter during one of my missions, I was able to remove the chains that imprisoned me. Back to the present, Round silently asked, but how could he know that he hadn't been brainwashed? Round immediately asked Derris, how did he know that, my lord? Derris said, of all the assassins, including you, there are two chains tied around your neck, the first is the brainwashing that you were somehow able to escape. And the second one, Derris snapped his fingers. Derris said, it was this, Round immediately felt intense pain from his heart. Round coughed out a mouthful of blood. Round collapsed to the ground, holding his left chest with one hand, screaming in pain, ah. Round endured the pain and thought, what kind of pain is this? It felt like my heart was being cut into pieces. Derris looked at Round struggling like that and smiled. Derris said, that is, angry. Round immediately looked straight at Derris. Derris continued, an insect has been implanted in your body. It is still following my orders and is slowly eating away at your heart. The worst black magic is one that can read a slave's emotions. After hearing this, Round gritted his teeth and said, brainwashing alone is not enough for you but you also have to force me to eat venom. Even though you have done such things and still act noble and virtuous, you really are a mean person, Derris. Derris didn't get angry when he heard what Round said, it was called being careful, not being mean, don't forget, you could have escaped being brainwashed. People say that everyone wears a mask, it's just that our mask is a little thicker and more special than others. Round looked at Derris and silently called his name, Derris Robert. Round now talked about the past, I was kidnapped at an age that I can hardly remember anything, then raised as a hunting dog and assassin for the Robert family, even when I became a after becoming a leader, I lived without a heart or emotions. But thanks to a stroke of luck, I was able to learn a technique called firing, and that technique has proven to be a special ability of the strongest sword masters from a long time ago, before, it would have helped me escape the brainwashing. I thought I could finally escape the shadow squad and dreamed of freedom, I finally had hope, but why was what waiting for me at the end of the road not freedom? What crime did I commit? Why did I have to die such a meaningless death? Raun was now angry, gritted his teeth, and his body radiated a beam of energy. My hands clenched and I thought, damn it, I can't let things end like this. Raun stood up and stared at Derris Roberts, if I had to die here anyway. Seeing him able to stand up, Derris said in surprise, how could you stand up in that condition? If my outcome is like that, I'll take his hand, or at least hurt him before I die. Ending the thought, Round shouted loudly and rushed towards Derris. I won't die a miserable death. But Derris only waved his hand once. A ray of light flashed. Ron's head was separated from his body. The head fell to the ground in fright. Derris stood there looking at Ron's body in one place and his head in another. Looking at the wound on his hand, Derris thought to himself, even if I block that attack. Even though he's just trash, not only did he escape being brainwashed, he was also able to endure the pain from the insect that attacked him, 
How long has it been since then? How many years has it been since I was last injured? To be bitten by a hunting dog I trained is unbelievable. But now there's no need to worry about him anymore because he's dead. Let's deal with him. As soon as Deris gave the order, two subordinates appeared from nowhere to deal with Ron's body. Ron's eyes were still staring at him. Deris is considered one of the strongest warriors on the entire continent. Losing is something that is bound to happen. He is the strong one and I am the weak one. How can I resist? But we don't accept it. I regret living this life for no reason. I regret being toyed with by Deris all my life. And I deeply regret not being able to complete the firing. Even if it's a god or even a devil, it doesn't matter, so please. Please do something and give me a chance to repay Deris. While Ram was at his most desperate, suddenly a blue light appeared from his necklace. A bulletin board appears, you have been selected by indignation. Wrath will enter your dead body. Error system. On a day with a clear blue sky filled with sunlight. A beautiful mother is playing with her child. Look at me, my sunshine. The child cried out, Ah dad, good now what is this? The child said, Abo. Oh my god, my mother's lovely sunshine looks like someone. She's so cute, she hugged the baby and happily petted it. That baby is round, he thought. I still haven't gotten used to this thing. The woman hugging me is Sylvia. I still can't believe it. Tell me, mom, I've been reincarnated as a woman's child. This despite still retaining memories of his past life as an assassin. At first I thought this was a dream and I slept for a hundred days. Why haven't I woken up yet? But no matter how much I slept, I finally accepted the fact that I was dead. Regeneration. At this moment, the mother picked him up and said, the weather is really nice today, isn't it? I hope the Lord will return soon. Then you will be able to give me a beautiful name. In his heart, he thought to himself, it's a bit strange to be called by a nickname all the time. He must be very busy without seeing his son for hundreds of days, he said, Abu. I still haven't been able to discover much after reincarnating, but at least I know this is a fairly rich family belonging to the upper class. I guess being reincarnated into a powerful and wealthy family would be better than a mediocre family. Because I need revenge. One thing I still remember clearly is the anger and hatred I felt in my heart before I died. But I need to be patient, because up until now I've only been wandering around this room, I don't know where this is, I don't know what my position is, or what situation I'm in. In addition, because I have not yet perfected the fire nin technique, I have to endure it even more patiently. I was once called the greatest assassin of the Robert family. To wait for the day when I could take revenge on Deris, I could suppress my emotions and desires until the time was right. But this makes me even more curious about the brilliance and size of this mansion, it's even more upper class. Suddenly he turned around and saw something. At this moment a panicked maid ran in, Lady Sylvia. The Lord is coming. What are you? Sylvia said, Father, does that mean the Lord is my grandfather? Round thought. Sylvia turned around and said to the maid, What should we prepare? It's late, the day is already here. The maid replied, Oh no. Sylvia is nervous. Everyone tensed and looked towards the big door. This made the boy a little nervous. What the heck was this presence? Announcing the Lord's return. To express this pressure with just my presence. The Lord with a red cloak entered. Sylvia held round and looked at him. Round did the same. Impossible if I'm not mistaken about who this is, round thought. At this moment Sylvia spoke up, Father. Is this that baby? The man asked. I'm sure, round thought. An elderly man with hair that shined the color of sunlight, eyes that were the color of fire, and a face colder than ice, the owner of the greatest family on the continent, the king of destruction of the north, Glenn Ziegert. Ha, huh, the man huffed, it seems somehow. I was reincarnated into the strongest family on the continent. Do you want to keep him? An unpleasant fate. From today onwards the boy's name is Round. True to his name he lives quietly. And exists quietly like a shadow as if I were not there. This. After overcoming life and death. We also have a new name. Round. At night. Round lay alone in his crib. Waiting until everyone went to sleep. Thinking. They must be sleeping now. He immediately sat up. It's been a frustrating day but now I have a chance. Every now and then I suddenly feel sleepy. And every time I wake up, Sylvia is next to me. I can't control my mana or anything anymore. At least I'm still quite relieved when I can sleep alone in my crib. Okay let's start. At this moment, 
He remembered the memories of his previous life when he started cultivating condensed fire rings. Normally, when cultivating continental techniques, using breath to allow mana from nature and aura accumulated in the core of fire energy to be obtained through special catalysts is different. Just like a witch creates a mana circle, it creates a circle around the heart, which increases stamina and stimulates the body's growth while also enhancing willpower and mana affinity, thus this method allows one to obtain ideal conditions to become a warrior. That is an excellent cultivation technique. There is another advantage that even a genius like Darius cannot detect whether Hoa Hon exists or not. Above all if I cultivate my body and mind using fire rings and make Zegat's swordsmanship my own. Then revenge on Darius Robert will no longer be a fantasy. Maybe it's because of this body structure that my mana circuits are cold. This is the reason my whole body is still cold. Whether I sleep for 20 hours or many hours. Is the mana blockage or is it in the nine regions? It's serious. At this rate, I'm going to die from cold air blocking the magic veins. I need to clear my veins with fire essence. On the other hand, if I throw away this bone chilling cold, that would be a pity. I will combine it with the fire heat flow in my body and circulate it. It was late at night. Okay, maybe a little slow, but pretty stable. Next is, hmm. I've only practiced a little, but I'm already tired. Damn it, I can't. Then he immediately fell asleep. Moments later, Glenn appeared and approached his crib. He patted his head. Outside, the moon shines brightly. Next morning, he was playing with his mother, Sylvia. Our Ron is so cute, crawling more, a bubu. In his head, he silently complained that playing with his mother was so tiring, his soul was an adult, but he was forced to act like a baby about to die. There's nothing that Ron can do, so cute, so cute, when his mother held him in his arms, Ron thought dejectedly, I'd rather be cold. Our cute little Ron, suddenly a call rang out, is Sylvia here? Old man, no saint, Sylvia said. An old man with grey hair and beard entered, laughing and saying, what's the matter here? just call me old man. Seeing old man round suddenly thought, is this person an angry saint? His holy magic and holy magic skills are among the best in the continent, he is the most famous healer in the continent, but his wanderlust makes meeting him as difficult as heaven. The old man looked at round affectionately and said, I was hanging around and came to visit you because I heard you just gave birth to this child, Sylvia replied, ah yes. Oh, the blonde hair and red eyes are just like hers, he picked up Ron and said, yes, aren't they very beautiful? He's so cute, different from Glenn, completely different so what's this baby's name? Sylvia hummed and said, um the boy's name is Ron. I didn't mean to give the name a figurative meaning. That's right, Sylvia replied, naming a child darkness, what was Glenn thinking, he said. Ron's eyes widened as he thought, he doesn't resemble his title at all, there must be some connection between them. I've heard that the King of Northern Destruction and the Wrathful Saint are friends, but if that's true. Round let me see kid, this time the old man put his hand on your chest. A golden light appeared. The mother next to him clasped her hands and looked worried. At this moment, he thought to himself, the boy's condition is not okay. Is there anything wrong with the boy? Sylvia asked worriedly, this child has curse ice stuck inside. The boy's mana veins were blocked by ice shards, Forget that in the future it will be difficult for him to become a swordsman. If not treated, the boy will die, at this rate he won't live long, the old man said in a low voice. When Sylvia heard that, she couldn't accept it at all, he lied. The old man continued to speak, I will give you some medicine to keep you going, at this time, a maid came in and announced, Your Excellency, please excuse me. The boss invited you, I will lead the way, after finishing here, we will go. The boss said to invite you right away. Uh, this guy keeps calling at the wrong time. I understand, now I'm going, you leave. Ron also silently thought, now I know it's the curse band, and knowing the name won't change anything. Don't say it was because of the fire, suddenly a drop of water fell on his cheek. It turned out that his mother was crying. Is a lie. I can't lose you like this, who says you'll die, it's meaningless. I will do everything to cure you. Your mother will do whatever is necessary. If you can't go, don't be sick. What is this feeling? My heart aches, it hurts, my whole body is tired, it hurts. I don't want to see this scene. Do not cry. Ron raised his small hand to wipe Varia's tears. Surprised her, staring at her child. At this moment, Uncle suddenly spoke to his mother. 
Mother, the voice said, surprising Sylvia. In a room the old man and Glenn were sitting and talking to each other, suddenly there was the voice of the maid Lady Sylvia, who couldn't stop, please, Glenn asked, what is that noise? Outside the servant is pulling on Sylvia's arm, who can't Lady Sylvia, the master is. Seeing the girl rush in, Glenn immediately shouted, what is this disrespect? This embarrassingly clumsy child. Before he could finish his sentence, Sylvia knelt down, I begged you, father. Please save Round. Please save Round. Sure you know the boy's condition but he means everything to me please please save my Round. Surely he wouldn't be able to survive as a warrior. Why would he just be a child who couldn't help the family? Glenn said. Isn't the baby your nephew? What? said Sylvia. Is the nephew you brought back after running away from home? Glenn replied. The only thing I will do is give him the Zegit family name. Let's consider it a little luck I will do for him but that will be it. Sylvia was speechless, father. I have nothing more to say, take her out. At this moment two servants appeared and pulled Sylvia out, father, please, please. Father, please save Round. Please Round. She was taken out of the room. Even though Moors, Gao cried and begged, he remained silent and said nothing. After the virus was taken out, the old man spoke up, you're still as stubborn as ever. It's so difficult to be honest. Why do you do that when you're the one who told me to come check on my nephew? Glean replied, shut up and tell me the details of the child's condition. As I said, nine of his mana veins have been closed due to wind and cold, and the older he gets, the more dangerous his illness becomes. Since you repelled the cold wind with your awe, there won't be any problem but like I said your nephew won't be able to become a warrior. As long as the boy is alive, it doesn't matter, you're acting completely different than just now, Surely you still love your nephew, right? But if you were going to do that, why did you name your nephew Ron? There are so many good names, why that name? Glenn pondered for a moment and then answered, Ron not just meaning darkness. A thousand years ago it had a completely opposite meaning. Return to the mansion where Ron lives. Right now Shu Vaya is giving you Ron medicine. This is the elixir that the saint gave you. It's a bit bitter, but please bear with it. Just give the boy medicine but she didn't dare look directly at her son, the maid Helen on the side clasped her hands in prayer. Suddenly, Round cried out, seeing that he had swallowed the medicine. The two of them were immediately happy that the boy had swallowed it. Aeon had endured the bitterness and taken the medicine, Helen, that's right, even though the medicine is very bitter for a child, he certainly understands your heart. Round, Sylvia happily hugged him. Round thought to himself, a bit bitter but a magic potion of fire attribute, exactly what I need right now, the heat will repel the wind and cold in my mana veins. Do you understand my mother's feelings? Sylvia said, please give me more of the elixir medicine. It's been two years since Ron started training and taking the elixir, thanks to them I was able to reach the fire ring faster than my fire ring has already reached one star. And another two years of persistent practice passed. My normal schedule would include playing with Sylvia and Helen in the morning, I'm sure there's no other kid on this continent as busy as me and spending my time napping and practicing at night. Time continued to pass and I was now five years old. At this time, a system message board appears, the second fire ring has been obtained, your soul has become a bit stronger with the effect of the two-star fire ring, the magic power has increased with the effect of the second fire ring, willpower has increased with the effect of the two-star fire ring, Strength has increased with the effect of the two-star firing. Looking at the information on the system board, Round was happy. It was finally done. I created a second firing. With the second firing, the fire has now turned into a cross shape. My sensitivity to mana has increased a bit, all thanks to this message. Suddenly a voice from outside rang out. When I heard it, I knew it was the voice of the maid Helen. Oh my god, master. Are you awake yet? I'll take your clothes to wash. Yes, let's do it. Helen just cleaned up and didn't notice anything. Round looked at her and thought. As I thought, she couldn't see this message window. I have seen this window in my state since obtaining the first firing. I wasn't sure what it was at first but. I quickly realized that it was a nifty system that allowed me to see my status at a glance. The status window of the first frost infected fire pill status. And based on Helen's reaction at the time, it seemed like she didn't see these messages. Even so, my poor physical condition and ice curse still don't change even though I'm already two stars. If I don't take the fire attribute elixir, how difficult will it be to get to two stars? 
and not just elixirs. Surely Sylvia, Helen and the others in the annex had also contributed to this over the past five years as they were constantly checking to see if they were uncomfortable or sick. So surely their care also helped somewhat. Round scratched his head. Even though I'm only five years old, I still have a lot of time and no need to rush. Ice curse is very sharp and so is my endurance, which is why I get tired easily even with just normal movements. However, in my previous life, I was known as the best assassin, and now I even know the best training method for fire rings, with the experience described, as long as I can get fire rings, those bad physical conditions will completely disappear, plus if I learn Zigit's sword skills I will definitely be able to kill Deris. Even so, I can't rush Deris being a candidate for the title of strongest person on the continent. I won't be able to bear it, if I get excited about revenge this early, I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of people who can kill him, even if it's slow, I have to slowly increase my strength, when the opportunity appears, I will end it once and for all. Then I'll practice a little more, while you were thinking, Sylvia came in and you woke up. Breaking his thoughts, he looked towards the door. Do you remember when mom told us to go somewhere together, change and prepare and go to the main building, said Sylvia. Round heard that and thought to himself, is today that day? A moment later, he got on the carriage and headed to the main mansion with his mother, six kings and five demons maintained the balance of power on the continent. The Zygat family, the family I reincarnated as one of the six kings. The six kings bestow good things while the five demons threaten peace. Besides, the other six worlds also have a judgment ritual to decide whether someone is good or bad. And today was the ceremony of Zygat, a magnificent castle appeared before his eyes. Inside the hall, there were a lot of people chatting together, it's been a long time, this is the first time we've met since last year's judgment ceremony, it's because I'm busy with my duties here, it's so foreign, so ha ha, is there any direct family attending this year? I heard there is a fourth son of Karun, ha ha I also heard it was Sylvia. What Sylvia, what a loser, while they were talking they saw Sylvia and her mother walk in. All eyes were on them. Then there were continuous whispers and whispers around. So that's Sylvia's son, he's so young, I heard he was sick. The rumors must be true. How can I avoid him inheriting the bloodline of a loser? I wonder if I should call it the blood of failure, right? I can't believe she's allowed in here. Do we need to do a judgment ritual for the children of a loser? I really hope I don't have to see them again. Seriously, standard has been completely reduced. Hearing those harsh words, Round thought to himself, my direct relatives are defaming me a lot, is there something I don't know, I don't care about being scolded but. She is truly shameless. Ron's sharp eyes looked straight in thought. Suddenly Sylvia's voice rang out, interrupting his thoughts, it's okay Ron. I just need to look at mom. Ron said nothing and just looked at his mother. Suddenly someone shouted, the homeowner was coming in. The footsteps of the familiar red cloaked man entered. It's been a long time, maybe five years, Glenn Zegert, his eyes followed the man entering. And sat in the position of homeowner. He is majestic and shining on his throne. Then started speaking. It seemed like everyone was already there. Glenn Zegert as he finished speaking. A giant sword appeared in the hall. Round looked at it and thought. Is that the sword of judgment. Starting the judgment ritual. Begins the judgment ritual. If you put your hand on the sword. It can show how talented a person is in using mana. Round looked at the sword thoughtfully. The servant shouted, let's begin, first, burden Zegit. There was a boy about four or five years old who spoke up, yes. Then the boy Tien Len and put his hand on that giant sword, a child's skull had an incomplete top when it reached the age of four, it began to close and fuse together, then the ability using mana won't change anymore, round thought. That's why the children gathered together to find out the extent of their mana usage skills in this judgment ritual. Suddenly there was an exclamation of surprise and everyone was talking, oh, the boy has the wind key ability, even the sword is glowing, the quality of his mana is also the best, a wonderful talent, what a talent, Mr. Karun's son. The owner of Glen saw this and also applauded, this attribute is not bad, very suitable for a young sword master, so focus on feeling the energy of the wind. Next, Ronan Sullian from the Sullian Vassal family was called, this time a lovely girl with silver hair stood up. Round on the side started to think, I can see how this sword works, 
the light on the blade will show the purity of mana and the mana attribute is shown at the tip of the hilt. So this is how you determine other people's talents. Zigit is a genius from the Sunthleon family. It's not a coincidence, her last name is Sullyan. She has the same status as Mr. Burren. The chants continued to ring out. Everyone in this house was haunted. Image by two words talent, round looks and thinks. I guess my results won't be good. Even though I successfully achieved a two-star firing, there's still a lot of cold ice energy in my veins. Well, I don't care anyway. The assistant's voice rang out. The last person was. Everyone looked attentively. Round Zegit. Glenn also looked at him. Please come forward. All eyes in the hall are focused on Round. Sylvia next to her smiled and said, Let's go Round, yes. I don't have any expectations. I just need to check which attributes are suitable for this body, and which attributes I should develop in the future. Have you seen how the kids did it before? Just do it exactly the same way, Sylvia advised. Yes, I know. Round moved closer to the sword. He placed his hand on the sword. Suddenly a yellow light appeared. That light is a star. He saw a man holding a sword in his hand. That man is facing many fierce monsters. What scene am I seeing? Who is this person? I only saw a man holding a sword in both hands and raising it to the sky. A sword slashed down on the monster. A huge explosion appeared. All the surrounding monsters were destroyed and turned into smoke. Round looked at Thandai's sword in surprise, then looked at the sword again. Look, the light hasn't even reached half of the sword yet. At this time, homeowner Glenn spoke up. The judgment ceremony has ended, you can go. Everyone left with clearly shocked expressions on their faces. Let's go. Okay, Burren. Everyone left, the door slammed shut. Only the lord and the butler remained. Glenn spoke up and said to the butler, I guess there's nothing I can do, sir. The butler standing next to me doesn't know what to say. I think that's all he can do. Anyway, I don't ask for anything from this child. Glenn was thinking and suddenly widened his eyes in surprise. The stone sword now emitted hot golden light. The stone sword is emitting. The rays of the sun. The aura that the first chief of the Zegit clan had was a terrifying power strong enough to harmonize even demonic fire. Golden mana and golden fire, the bright golden mana, this type of mana has only appeared once, Glenn opened the book and said. Unique throughout the history of the Zegit family. It is brilliantly beautiful with dazzling metallic luster. Golden fire, Glenn looked up at the sword. Round, this grandchild, Glenn's eyes were full of joy and anticipation. At this time, I was observing my status window, the name Round Zegit, the title did not have the ice status, Curse 9 Ancient Strength was broken, decreased physical energy, decreased mana affinity, question mark attribute firing 2 stars water resistance 2 why, I'm okay, Round said. Looks like I'm about to reach my third firing, he said happily, seven years have passed since the first judgment ceremony took place, I'm now 12 years old. Seven years since the judgment ritual took place, and with regular training, my two fire rings are about to increase to three. If I can cure the ice curse then my growth rate will be faster much. My water resistance has increased to two stars, and now the ice spreading all over my body is no longer there, so my limbs are no longer stiff. Of course moving my body it's also very difficult, but compared to before, it's much better. At that moment, a call rang out to round. It was your mother's voice, I have to prepare what I am doing here. Let's go, it's not too late. He replied, yes, round thought, it was time for me to participate in the second judgment ritual. Maybe I will have to see those confusing things again. A moment later, round appeared at the judgment rite, then finally, the door opened, a voice rang out, then, finally, Langrissa Legretta, you have worked hard, so this is the end of the judgment rite, end. Maybe it's because only people from the new side are here so everything happens faster than I thought. Round sat there thinking. Maybe it's because only people from the new side are here so everything happens, came out quicker than I thought. A voice from above called his name, Round Zegit. You must have received orders to participate in basic training as a member of the clan. Why haven't you responded in a month? The homeowner's voice rang out, interrupting his thoughts. What is he talking about, basic training? Round still didn't understand what happened. Sylvia next to him spoke up. Father Round is different from other children. He still has the curse on his body so the training is still too much for him. Round looked at she thought. Sylvia already knows about this. 
Glenn Sternley said that this place was Zegit's territory with no exceptions or refusals from those who had received the name Zegit. If they couldn't walk, they crawled there and practiced. A Zegit family member must have that spirit. Hearing that, Sylvia immediately begged, could not, please give me some time. Seeing Sylvia beg again, the homeowner angrily said, if that doesn't work, are you going to run away again, take that child with you? On this land you can only live as a Zegit family, if you don't like it then get out of here. The whispers started again, what is she trying to run away from? This will be interesting now that she doesn't have the mental energy or the circuit to break it anymore. I cannot believe that such a person is a direct lineage. Sylvia stood there with her head down listening to those criticisms. Hearing those people's contemptuous words, Round now understood why Sylvia was treated like that. Because she left this family. No aura even though she learned martial arts which means she broke her mind energy and her mana circuit was completely destroyed mother ran away from home and met my father and married him. But after conceiving me my father died. And she has no choice but returns home. Because she had abandoned her position to the direct line and now returned, she had to receive treatment that was inferior to that of a member of the maternal family. That is the views of others and are their own situations. And as Sylvia's son I can't bear to see my mother being treated like that. Then Round stood up and walked forward. Round what are you doing come back here? Boss, Mom will take care of this sir please. It's okay, Mom, he replied. Under the order, my son will participate in the training course starting next month as what he has commanded. Round steadfastly speaking out, but I don't even know that there is a multi-course. Denia Zegert saw this and said, no matter what it is called, basic training is not at a level that a sick person can endure, you should withdraw immediately. I've given myself the surname Zegert, so I'll pay for it, I'll join the training. You dare to dirty the name Zegert Haham do you understand the seriousness of mentioning the name Zegert? Glenn angrily looked at Raun and said. A stream of pressure made him sweat. His mouth immediately coughed out a handful of blood. It feels like my flesh is being torn into that piece. Even just a look can affect me like that. It feels like my heart is aching. It even affects me more than Robert's. Is this the warrior of the Northern Destruction King? Sylvia and the maid Helen now hurriedly ran to help Raun. So Raun is still young so he doesn't know what he is saying. Denia Zegert also pleaded. Sir the boy is still just a child. The child just doesn't know anything. Please take back the pressure you put on him. I'm saying that. Glenn shouted. Made Denia immediately scared. Sorry, I'm sorry. Aron's health cannot practice. Please, please recover the pressure. Raun examined her mother's arms with anxiety. Assassins are people who live in darkness. Always closer to death than life, they will never reveal themselves. But now I'm no longer an assassin as before. I won't live in darkness anymore. Raun gradually awakens. I won't live like an assassin too. I'm Raun Zegert and I will bring Sylvia back to her inherent position. Thinking of this, Raun immediately stood up and said no, I don't know because I grew up and was given an auxiliary mansion, not the main building, I don't know how arrogant the name Zegit is, that's why I want to see the place with my own eyes, called what Zegit really is like by participating in training. It's Raun, I will protect Sylvia. The happiness and smiles of the precious people with me. I will definitely regain everything with this hand, Raun thought in my heart. At this moment, Glenn's voice rang out again, you mean you will evaluate the Zegat clan through the basic training process? Right now, that's the only way for me to learn about the Zegat clan. Then we will have to check everything to ensure that the instructor has prepared. So as not to disappoint you. In my previous life, I was the best assassin and now I am a person who has learned about the legends of the Fire Continent. If I can take advantage of all the abilities from him, then winning a high position in my family is not enough, cannot. I will show you how tough you despise. A moment later at the Genia Martial Arts were reporting the last story to a man. Isn't he a patient who can't move? The master of the Martial Heart Temple, Karun Zegat. Yes, only one or two maids overheard the conversation between the saint and the homeowner, the young master must have been very sick. When I saw the boy before, his body was not normal. How could he withstand the pressure from him? Karun thought. He coughed a few voice, now thinking back, Sylvia was also the most talented person. He ordered, install people to the mansion, Genia said, clearly. Act as quickly as possible, and report back on everything that happens there. At Zegit, training school number five, Glenn strode away, 
The surrounding people shouted, Let me welcome the visiting clan head, welcome you, Lord. A red haired man was sleeping, his hat covering half of his face. The Lord came in and said, Stop pretending to be asleep, get up, Rimmer. At this moment, the red haired man named Rimmer sat up in surprise and said, Oh my God, I can't believe it. You're the only one who can see through my sleep pretending skill, Chief, that's the light sword Rimmer Diaz. The trainers are sweating running back and forth and you're so leisurely here, the patriarch asked, Rimmer replied, of course they will listen to my orders, I use my head and those people work it's only fair. It's been 50 years and you're still like a child, the patriarch said, Rimmer smiled and replied, if humans change, they die, ah, but I'm an elf. But you came here because of your youngest nephew, he continued to ask casually. Miss Sylvia also came to say something to me but I didn't expect the patriarch himself to come like this. Hearing that, the patriarch immediately asked again, did Sylvia come here? Rimmer replied, she asked me not to let Round get hurt. If you also have that intention, then perhaps your trip this time is a waste. The patriarch himself said that no one can interfere in the fifth training school, including you. Even if you worry about your youngest grandson, I'm no exception, Rimmer said with his hands on his hips. Glenn calmly replied, of course, surprising Rimmer. Don't reduce the intensity of your training, just increase it as you see fit and weed out the weak guys, he said. Then your nephew was chased away, chief, you mean? Rimmer covered his mouth and said. Oh my god, you love your children and grandchildren more than I thought, could it be that you couldn't take good care of Miss Varia so you poured all your love into that child? He covered his face and shyly said, if you weren't my teammate, when I was in the army, I gave you my head. Don't be lenient with the boy and remember to clearly distinguish between good and bad people, leaving only those who meet the standards for training, the patriarch said, Rimmer turned around and said, then being respectful is not as good as obeying orders. Yes, just do what you want me to go, the patriarch turned to leave, Rimmer said warmly, yes, be careful on the road, chief. He crossed his arms and said, hum, Ron, I'm curious what you are. At this time, Rown is reviewing the system board he has received, the third firing, the three-star firing, your body and soul are a bit stronger thanks to the effect of the three-star firing, the power agility and endurance have increased thanks to the effect of the three-star firing, willpower and mana mannequin's affinity has increased thanks to the effect of the three-star firing, water resistance has reached three stars, one of the nine strands of the cursed ice bone has disappeared. Three stars is a completely different level, Rown is a little happy thinking that his body's cognitive ability has increased and his mind is also clearer than before. Why did I have to force myself like that in the first few days? It's just like that, he thought to himself, thanks to Sylvia stopping him, his limb muscles developed without much difficulty. Additionally, this magical status window boosts my growth even more. But this is just the beginning, the Zegat clan's training is famous for being arduous. Three stars is just the necessary foundation to start with a trainee position in the family. You must have a solid enough foundation to build a tall house and live in the future. By showing off my achievements, I will make the guys who used to mock me shut up. So after all, the heavenly sword Deris Roba. I won't stop until I slit his throat. Suddenly a call came from outside, round. Why aren't I sleeping yet? The echo of the virus made him snap out of his thoughts, mom. Why are you still here at this hour? He asked, tomorrow you will go to the training school to start basic training, right, I have something to tell you. I definitely have to go. Actually, I still want to stop you. You always hold back even if it hurts, I don't know what to do if you get injured all over your body while practicing. It's not that I won't let you go, but just postpone it for one year, okay, child, Sylvia said with a worried look on her face. I cannot step back. Every time I see my relatives from near and far meeting my face every time I see their expression as if they are looking at a weak person when they look down on their mother. I feel very angry, so I can't hesitate, he placed his hand on his chest and said loudly. As long as you practice well, they won't be able to look down on you anymore, Ron said firmly. Sylvia smiled. She grabbed my hand and said, you're very smart, Rayon, I'm sure you've realized why I have to live alone and why people curse me. I met your father while on a mission and fell in love with him, but because of your father's status as a knight, it was very difficult for the two of us to be together. Therefore, I destroyed my mana veins and mental energy and left the clan. Actually, 
I have another sister who is two years younger than me, her name is Shia. While we were living peacefully, an army from Vietnam recognized us and assassinated us. Your father is not that strong, I am still pregnant with you. So there's nothing we can do. Luckily, my father always silently sent guardians to protect me, but they were far away and by the time they arrived, it was too late. At that time, my father and sister had already lost their lives. I have nowhere to go, I have no other choice, I have to return to the family, so I am considered a sinner of this family. I don't know what to say to your grandfather. Round thought to himself, how selfish, Sylvia is so selfish. She left the family's responsibilities on her shoulders to pursue her own happiness and returned only to beg for help. I understand why she was treated so harshly, she was a human being, my only mother in two lifetimes. But she is also the one who gave me this new life, the first time I met someone who truly loved me so much even though everyone thought she was selfish at least towards me. Thinking about this, Round suddenly asked, does mother regret it? Do she want to go back to the time before she left home? Sylvia replied, no, I don't regret it at all. We have lived as if we didn't exist in this house. Only when we leave here can we truly feel the vitality that is enough. I was really happy then and now I am happy because I have children in my life. I'm so sorry Round. I'm not a good mother. It's okay, I'm fine, don't worry. He was very happy in his heart. He placed his hand on Sylvia's hand. Even if others criticize you for being selfish, you are my precious, irreplaceable mother. Revenge will be successful after I help her regain her position as heir to the Zegit family. Sylvia's tears flowed down her cheeks. She looked at her child and was touched. She cried like a child. Round asked confusedly, Mother, why are you crying? After a while, he went out and sighed, but it took his mother to calm down. I should check the progress of the fire ring and then sleep. It won't be long until the training session begins. He sat with his hands and legs crossed on the bed. Also, the rotation speed of the fire ring has gotten faster after reaching three stars. After three stars, how much faster will it be when it reaches the intermediate stage? Suddenly a cluster of light appeared in which a voice could be heard. The time has finally come. Your wrath has touched my essence emperor, in the name of the second demon lord of the demon world, I will take revenge on you. What is this? Raun looked at the soul-like thing in front of him without understanding anything. At this time, the system notification shows that unknown abilities have been activated, rage abilities have been created, rage has awakened. Your anger has reached the essence emperor, in the name of the second demon lord of the demon world's resentment, I will avenge you your body and soul home. Why is there a child here? Round asked in surprise, what are you? I have to ask that question, who are you? The rage I feel is not something a brat like you can emit. He looked and suddenly discovered something, hum. It's not you in your heart, you're hiding a very deep resentment. If so, offer your soul to me in exchange and I will help you repay the revenge you always desire. Rayon secretly thought he appeared because of his resentment towards Deris before he died, but now it's too late. Round replied, no I don't need your help, he asked, huh, you said, I will take revenge myself. Round thought to himself, I'll never get this chance again, I can't let someone else take revenge for me, I'll be the one to take Deris' head, he said, it seems you've made a mistake, kid. I'm not here to negotiate with you. My elite emperor has already made a decision. At this moment, a cold blue flame surrounded him, making Round a bit surprised, what is this? Why is this flame so cold? Could it be? You just need to sacrifice your body to me. At this moment, resentment Lin laughed loudly and the blue fire also flared up violently and rushed towards Ron. He sweated and looked at the fire worriedly. It rushed straight into Ron's body. Then suddenly everything became quiet again. The glass of water on the table didn't make any movement at all. Ron held his chest and thought, It's so cold. My body doesn't even feel like my mind is frozen so his elemental attribute must be ice, not fire. Think of him, unleash your fury. Even if they are real, my essence emperor will finish him off. The enchanting voice of the spirit of resentment echoed continuously. Round was still lost in his thoughts. Thanks to his water-resistant skill, he was able to endure a little more. But this attack wasn't simply an effect on temperature. Him continuously. Provoke his anger. I will smash his head and eat his flesh and drink his blood. Please surrender and offer your body to me. If I give him this body, 
who knows what he will do to Sylvia and the servants in the house, even if I die, I can't sacrifice my body to him, round thought. If you released your temperance and accepted me you would feel at ease but you choose to continue struggling pointlessly like this. I didn't want to injure this body so I could use it later, but I thought there was no point in doing so. I won't be lenient with you anymore, just eat you alive and it'll be over, the spirit of resentment continued to attack, Round was lost in thought, his body felt like it was about to crumble. I've reached my limit and this body can't last much longer, if I keep like this, I'll die soon, I want to live. Suddenly he woke up because of a strange feeling. If I can resist the ice aura thanks to the water resistance skill, then there's a chance I can also endure the mental and physical pain of using the fire pill. If you want to live, this is the only way. Round decided to use the fire ring to fight against resentment Lin. Seeing the golden fire, resentment spirit immediately became afraid. He let out a sigh. I just woke up, how could that happen when a small mouthed human dares to challenge me, resentful Lin said angrily. I will take revenge myself, I refuse to let a wandering soul possess my body, Ron's eyes full of determination looked at him. Wandering soul, how dare you call the demon lord of the demon world a wandering soul, the resentful spirit shouted angrily, Round said, how dare you call yourself a demon when you can't defeat me. Or maybe the devil is really dead, you should go away, the resentful spirit was told that, gritted his teeth and replied, how dare you mock me. Just now he said he had just awakened. Maybe that's why he couldn't use his full power, Round thought. Suddenly the system appeared, he thought, what kind of auxiliary ability is this, why suddenly, Round still doesn't understand what happened. The resentful spirit shouted in horror, it's my power status window, why do you have it, Round looked and said, my parameters are clearly visible. What does the status window with the message say have to do with you, Ron asked suspiciously, of course it has to do with the system, it was created by me, but do you know why you can use it, Ron continued asking, what is the system for? I don't have to tell you anything, Ron heard that and asked, is this also promoting growth? The resentful spirit suddenly asked, what, how do you know, Ron thought, he can't even control his emotions, no wonder he is angry. It's strange that the effect of the fire ring is stronger than in the previous life, so it's all thanks to the system. Quickly sacrifice your body and give me back my power, resentful Lin shouted angrily. Pay this quickly, what do you think you are doing? But right now Round didn't care so he gave him a punch, it was worth a try even though that punch didn't use much mana. He is an invisible soul, why can't Aura do anything to him? The resentful spirit shouted, how dare a human treat me like that? Round crossed his arms and looked at him thinking, from just now he was such fanfare but still no one showed up. Maybe I'm the only one who can see and feel him. Round continued to swing his hand at resentment Lin, purring. Hold on, this is when Ron's hand hits and the resentment Lin is crushed. And turned into a bracelet to wear on his wrist. He looked at the bracelet and wondered, this is it. My seal has only just been broken but my power will return. When the time is right you will no longer be able to stop me. I will haunt you until you have no more resentment left, again. After finishing speaking, Resentment Lin completely fell silent, he was upset, indeed, I really want to kill him, Ron looked at the bracelet and thought. But if I force him to separate from me, the system might disappear, besides, who knows what he will do to Sylvia and Helen to capture me. Keep him by my side, to facilitate supervision, I will believe in my own ability to improve and hope I can overcome him, Ron thought to himself, looking at the flower bracelet on his hand. Ron said a bit annoyed, it's a bit unrelated but why did you choose the flower bracelet? It doesn't look suitable for you at all. Don't judge my personal preferences. And Lin angrily replied, you know what you hate. The next morning, at the annex. Sylvia is still worried about Round. The maid Helen comforts her. The young master will be fine, I know, but still. At this time, Ron's voice rang out, I'm ready. He walked down beaming, I'm going to the training school. Young master, remember to be careful. Don't force yourself too much. Helen spoke up to warn Round. Round replied, I remember Helen, you'll be back. Helen spoke up at this time, Miss Sylvia, if you see the young master off so unhappy, the young master will feel sad. Round be careful on the road, don't worry like I told you, if it's too difficult, then let it go, don't try too hard, Sylvia held her son's hand and said. Then Round said goodbye to them and turned away. Sylvia asked, will everything be okay? Helen replied, 
The young master has improved a lot. He will pass the training and return. Yes, compared to before he is much better but this child, Sylvia thought. Miss Sylvia, the teacher this time is famous for being sharp in Zegit. With Ron's efforts, he will be able to do it. At that time, before leaving, Sylvia couldn't bear to hug her child and cry. Helen spoke up encouragingly. That's right, mother. I promise that I won't let myself get hurt, Ron also said. Don't worry, I'll definitely keep my word. Just trust me, Sylvia thought holding her hand, Ron. Come back safely, she silently watched her son leave with tears in her eyes. At Zegit Training School No. 5. At this time, there were already a lot of people. Which house did you come from? Surely they weren't too strict with the students, right? My parents told me to get into the top 10. Everyone was chatting excitedly. Ron also arrived and saw the scene in front of him. He was a bit surprised and thought, just like the rumor, there were many people coming here. Not only relatives come to the Zegit training school, but also those nominated by the Vassal family. According to Helen, because there were so many people this year, they had to set up six training schools. Someone immediately recognized Ron. They started talking, isn't it him? Look at his atrophied muscles. As soon as he touches them, they will fall to pieces. A sick man like him is sure to only be able to run halfway. Why does he have to come here to show off? And when did the old rose bracelet come from? It's so outdated. When Lynn heard someone dare to criticize her, she got angry and said, What are you talking about? You trash are a group of aristocrats with blind eyes. The emperor will smash your bones and flesh and gouge out your eyes. But of course, other than Ron, no one can hear his voice right now. Speak up. You two have nothing to discuss. Said this directly to my face. Those two guys turn around to look. Ha. Huh. Don't you know that speaking ill of others behind their backs is not a good thing? Ron told them directly. Those two guys immediately responded. How dare you? It's obvious that you are a bad person and are forced to live in court. That's the second family. You are a member of the maternal family, not a direct descendant. What kind of status do you have to use the term, Jim, when you are only of a relative lineage? Ron asked. Isn't that word only reserved for people of lower status than you? Why did the other two guys get angry after hearing it? Someone rushed to grab Ron's collar. You really are an unreasonable guy. He raised his hand intending to attack Ron at this time. He was also ready as long as he attacked he would let him know. But at that moment a voice said rang, stop immediately. The training is about to start. What are you doing in front of outsiders? You dare to tarnish the reputation of the Zegit clan. The one who spoke up was Baron Zegit, a descendant of the Orthodox lineage. The other two guys were immediately scared. He quickly apologized. Mr. Baron, I'm sorry. Baron turned to say to Rayon. And you also have to know yourself and your destiny. You are just a small grain of sand that I want to be able to brush away. If I don't want to be kicked out of the annex, then I can live in peace. Baron looked a little angry at Ron. Baron thought, this foolish brat in front of me has attracted all the attention of the clan leader, but he used the situation instead of using his own true ability. An uneducated guy who has no chance of going to training yet dares. Thinking of this, Baron said a little contemptuously, if you don't intend to participate in the training course then get out of here or else stay out of my sight because you will not be able to pass this training course, where? Ron knew that if he continued to show weakness and let them bully him, he would not be at peace in this training camp, he immediately said, I have had enough of hearing your nonsense. You're a direct descendant but you don't have any rank, you're planning on kicking me out of the annex, you think you can do that when you're not even a student yet. Oh I guess you might have a chance to do that if you go to your sister and cry and beg your father. Baron heard that and angrily shouted at a descendant who dared to dare. But at that moment, the door to the training camp opened and Rimmer appeared. He smiled and said, Wow, you guys are already fighting. Ah, I guess it's because you have the spirit of young people, right? Rayon thought to himself, Isn't that the light sword Rimmer of the Zegit clan? I heard he retired after his mental energy was damaged. I didn't expect him to be here. Or maybe after the opening ceremony, you guys continue to fight. Rimmer's voice rang out again. Burren was angry in his heart. He hummed softly but did not dare to take any action. At this point, Rimmer begins to introduce himself. Welcome, I am the head guru who will supervise your practice. The teacher's name is Rimmer and I hope we will cooperate smoothly. I heard that there are up to 160 students participating in the training, but there are only eight instructors. No matter how you look at it, there are too many students. 
so we will reduce that number by testing. Exactly, only keep a quarter. Hearing that, the students opened their mouths in surprise, there were only so many people left, why couldn't this happen, just a few outstanding people. Hearing that, resentful Lin couldn't help but say, arrogant bastard, do you dare to disrespect the essence of the emperor, I will tear off this goblin's ears, before he could finish his sentence, he was beaten by round, be quiet. In this training school, the teacher is the law, if you have any complaints, just go to the clan leader and we'll get started. At this time, the students were still bewildered, not understanding anything, when Rimmer's voice rang out again with a cunning laugh, he 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 what are you doing, run away quickly. After a moment of bewildered surprise, then the students began to compete in running, endurance and willpower at the foundation of martial arts, run a few laps in the gym until I tell you to stop, then stop running at full speed, maximum for me, Rimmer enjoyed try said loudly as if he was very interested in this. At this moment, Lin Lin came out and spoke to Rao with an angry tone, if you want to run, you have to go ahead, why are you staying behind, why did he suddenly start running? This is not a competition, there is no need to surpass others, Rao thought to himself. What the Rimmer evaluates is a person's potential and character. He doesn't pay attention to external things. Those who can endure will pass this test and I will definitely last until the end. Right now on the observation deck, the trainers are discussing Master Buran and Lady Runan, truly unparalleled. They all did very well, but the other two kids still stood out the most, this is still not their top speed, at that pace they could run for hours. Just 12 years old and already at that level, why do I feel cautious when thinking about the future of these children? And is that kid the boy in the rumors? It's no surprise that the boy couldn't keep up and kept falling behind, that kid was sick, but running with that speed was impressive, they talked about Round. The boy looks tired, maybe he will miss soon, Rimmer is also observing Round. He gave an incomprehensible smile. I thought, this is interesting, have I ever met a child like him? We thought that only those who couldn't see their potential were the strongest because we couldn't see through the depth. We can see the characteristics and colors of those children and know what kind of person they will become in the future. But still round, why? We cannot see any color. That means the boy's potential is beyond our awareness, which is really cool. But the two students who previously despised round now saw him being left behind and started talking in a gloating tone. See how Ku Kang behaved and then came last. Hey, he should be grateful, because if you're last, you're about to fail. And looking at his stupid expression, I bet he won't last another 10 minutes. Round didn't pay any attention to these words he was thinking about this training lesson. It couldn't be. It's just training. Why do they just force them to run? In my previous life, they released monsters that had been starved for a long time. So I had to run like hell to survive. I didn't have to run for nothing. This. So simple. Round ran and smiled. Under the intense sunlight, all students are trying to run all their best to run forward. Round dropped behind. Mr. Rimmer looked at him with thought. Rimmer feels quite surprised for the boy, telling himself, that boy is okay, how can he continue to run? He looked at Round trying to keep up with you, sweating like rain, thinking, his body should have been running out for a long time, this is still beyond what people call it perseverance or stubbornness. This boy should not have any physical strength to continue. So great will only exist in warriors who have been constantly practicing and experience in the door of death countless times, how this kid can have such a strong will, okay. Rimmer put his hand on his chin and smiled and said, Round Zigit, interesting. Outside in the yard, everyone was running together, young master Buran was sweating profusely, he turned around to observe Round. He felt surprised, uncomfortable thinking, why, how he could continue running, I was sure that he had no conditions to practice. Buran recalled, in one eavesdropping on the conversation of the Holy Holy, he heard that, according to the Holy Holy Word, the son of Sylvia was likely to die, so forget to become a warrior, and he was even worse at the last time I saw him. As if, Buran thought. All of them, it's so annoying, okay, I will show them. After saying that, he used his superpowers, controlled aura, blue light emitted around. Buran told himself that there was a huge difference between us, so much so that you want to let go and surrender, he overcame Runan and Round to take the leading position. Runner and Round looked up at Buran, the two of them felt quite surprised. Round told himself, despite the noble style, he was just a kid. Psychologically, Runan was even more successful than him, 
Round looked to run on. We do not compete with each other in this test. This is a confrontation with ourselves. There is no reason because he has a disorder of his current pace. Under the intense sunlight, the clear blue sky without a wind passed. Most of the students were exhausted. Some couldn't even stand. They sat down on the ground panting. A male practitioner told a female friend, Damn it, what the hell is this? How can he run? The female friend said, I'm sure people say he is a person braided. The two looked at Round ahead. He was still trying to run after him. The girl said, Does he know what fatigue is? Round was trying to follow the front. He fluttered his face, sweating on his face, silently, stopping eight bullshit like this very easily. I was about to die to the place because of the cold of the body then hear this. Under the heat emanating from under the chest, Round thought, feeling like his heart and lungs were being forced, but somehow he could still prolong his physical strength through optimization of use, fire. He silently smiled, looked forward, told himself, the only thing worth relieving here was that the fire hone was developing quickly, I guess I need to show my best so that it can maximum validity, if I keep like this. The voice of resentment rang out of Ron's thoughts, how pathetic you are, even though your body will be possessed by the quintessence of the emperor, you are not only being left behind, but look at it, in your despicable state. Resentment appears, look at Ron, smile the evil smile, give me it, give your body to the quintessence of the emperor, in addition to overcome that blue hair name. Round feels quite helplessly swearing, damn, this is the worst time for this. Resentment, we will make them completely motionless. There were electric currents running through Ron's body, it seemed like his body was numb, losing feeling for a few seconds. He bit his teeth, silently told himself, he had to endure. The senses are leaving themselves because of the indignation, but I need to pretend that nothing happens as much as possible, he just tells himself, and runs forward under the hot sunshine of summer, the tomb foul flows continuously. On one side, Lin Lin laughed cleverly, do not make me laugh, how can you not be affected, no one in this world can endure the indignation of the quintessence, Ron is angry look at the resentment, do not do your stupid games anymore and leave it alone, that will not be valid on me. Resentment looked at Rom's appearance on her chest to endure her happy physical abuse, to see how long you could try. Ron panted and told himself, I have to endure it, if I show weakness right now. He thought of the sight of his collapse, telling himself, he would rush in to tear himself immediately. One side resented angrily screaming, A, hey, this stubborn bastard, why, why is the indignation of the quintessence of the emperor not valid? Ron ran and breathed hard, his running steps seemed to slow down. Ron thought, it really hurts, I feel like I'm about to die, I can't even control my body anymore. He looked ahead, his eyelids seemed to be something heavy, could not open, the thought of thinking continuously, the visual was blurred, I could not even breathe for the person, royal. However, his steadfast gaze glowed, seemingly nothing to stop him, he thought, this is the farthest point I can achieve. In a corner of the schoolyard, the classmates were sitting and breathing, the voice of a female friend rang, hey you can use it already. Round put his hand on his knees to breathe, one side of Burren said, you really stubborn it. Round panted and told himself that he almost died there, this life probably won't be easy. On the side, Lady Runan looked at Ron's crouched and panting figure, she was silent, not knowing she was thinking. Resentment appears, looking at the pathetic appearance of Ron, that is, it is true that a monster, how you, Ron replied, that's why I told me that it was useless, it was it. It there is no effect on me. Round thought, even so, it obviously helped the growth of the fire, his thoughts continued continuously, his hand brought up his chest, where he was emitting a burning flame, thinking continued, adding more another body has also developed thanks to the status window, if I continue to practice like this, I can definitely be able to. Suddenly there was the voice of the system resounding to cut off Ron's thoughts, he and resentment all gathered on the notification screen. The display of the display system, the conditions that have been met, moves extreme in excess of the limit of their own physical strength, the indicators have been strengthened, strongly increased, the agility has increased, physical strength increased. Resentment besides resentment, what is happening like this? Why does it give you more index because you have overcome the attack of the quintessence of the star? Round also feels surprised. Round feels quite shocked, thinking, this is so ridiculous. At the end of the test, everyone gathered together, doing well everyone, 
we will end the test here, Mr. Rimmer stood on the podium. The voice of the teacher rang, well, and what I told you before running, your faces were tightly closed, afraid to wait for the teacher to continue. I said that I would remove all and keep it only a quarter of those children, Mr. Rimmer laughed and raised his hand at the students. All the students in the yard were shocked, the voice was loud, what, she ran all my best just because of that, Mr. Rimmer said, no life I will eliminate so many students like that on the first day, they have no life for me to continue to teach if I do that, in addition, I don't say if you will eliminate you after this test. Mr. Rimmer's face turned serious and he said quietly, but if you keep practicing like today, most of you will be eliminated. The students seemed to be worried, they were quiet when listening to the words he said. Mr. Rimmer walked away and his voice rang out, obviously I told the children to run all the force, but no one of the 160 people, running all the power until the end, except for one person. And there are one of the children still so dare to use aura, the voice of the teacher rang, making Burren scared, his face is clearly stressed. He walked up next around to sit down, laughing happily, actually what they did not matter, because the person who was taking the test was the children, not me. Mr. Rimmer raised his hand to create an OK symbol in front of Round, however, they will definitely not slip the test as long as they do it as if my instructions, so don't worry about that, then it then it, it is not easy. Looking at the faces below Mr. Rimmer said, from this moment will become a temporary rookie, I will remove the temporary word if you pass the test in the next six months. He just laughed happily, two fingers raised up and said, so I was planning to choose a top rookie, but I would not rank them anywhere. Well, the children will be able to experience the most luxurious residence that the family has prepared, and there is an indoor training ground on the left side, so I can go there to see it, Mr. Rimmer continued. The scene changes on a road section, next to the old green trees, it seems that there is some sound that is emitting. Mr. Rimmer is coming, in front of a mysterious guest who has not been exposed. I have a guest waiting in my dream, right, the voice of the Rimmer rang. The mysterious man turned his face, that was the patriarch of the Glen Zegit, Rimmer continued, my chief, Glen replied, how it was. Rimmer leaned back on a saying, he should not be the one who asked me about that, he must have seen everything, because he came here and then. Rimmer thought of the faces of Burren and Runan, he also knew how good I was to judge others, as expected Burren and Runan have the most outstanding talent, and other children also have the potential to become the pillar of the mainstay, in the future clan. However, the voice of the Rimmer is talking about for a few seconds. Rimmer remembered Rom's face, continued, I saw nothing from Round. I do not understand why that boy can continue running at the end, the boy's physical physicalization must be exhausted from the end before, this is the first time I have seen something like that from the time, at the end I saw him, Lord, Rimmer said. Mr. Rimmer happily smiled and continued, everything passed by boring since my mind was dissipated, but I felt that this would be very interesting here. Glenn said, you're the one who asked to be the guide for those psychic soldiers, after that, he angrily walked away. The voice of the Lord rang out, your job is not to find joy, but to raise children to become warriors of the Ziggurat acceleration, Lima replied, of course, my Lord. Rimmer crossed his arms leaning on the tree, laughing, and I felt that I would be able to entrust my future in the number one of those rookie. Glenn replied, just coincidentally, that boy could hardly become a warrior. The distance between the two people became more and more distant, the talking stopped, only the harsh sunlight of the summer day remained. Rimmer laughed and made a voice, he knew it was not the truth. The students were looking at Round, while he didn't pay any attention, Round was talking to the ghost, the basic training was over, let's go back to the training school, the ghost complained, after all, all those things, that brat is too mean. Everyone looked in the direction Round turned away in silence, not a single sound was made. It seems that Round will have many difficulties in his life here, everyone's faces are quite unpleasant, many people feel unhappy that he is staying. In the late afternoon, the sunset scene is so beautiful, someone's voice breaks through that scene, it's unreasonable. It turned out that the voice came from a corner of the wall, where a group of students were gathering to discuss Round, the guy stood with his hands on his hips and said, unless he was playing tricks, there was no way he could stay that long, the guy sitting in the chair replied, you're right, I've definitely heard about his illness. The blonde-haired young man crossed his arms and said with an annoyed expression, it was definitely due to the elixir. 
and then thinking about that elixir, I had heard rumors that the indignant saint had given it to him, the voices of his friends echoed continuously, ha, huh, did he do that that day? The faces of the two boys were extremely angry, one said, so he was able to run thanks to the power of the elixir, the green-haired person next to him clenched his fists, extremely angry and replied, but still faked it, pretend you're talented because you made it to the end, you shameless bastard. The blonde boy said with a devious smile, so I was thinking, should we teach the smug bastard a lesson? After that, Round was pulled to a corner by a group of blonde hair, with a physical impact, he was sent flying and crashed into a huge tree trunk, there were continuous screams, Ron's face was extremely ugly. Round sat under the tree, raised his face and said, why did you suddenly do that? The blonde guy laughed happily and replied, ha, huh, you don't know. The boys behind were extremely angry, pointing at Round and continuing, in an unpleasant tone, you were abandoned by the orthodox lineage and yet you still dare to brag when you're only taking advantage of the power of some elixir, that's what you got. The other blue-haired guy said angrily, if you didn't have the holy ban elixir, you wouldn't be able to run like today. Why do you want to play such tricks with us, people of the bloodline who don't have supernatural powers? The voices were continuously coming out, Round looked up at him, his expressionless face thinking, what a child, still a child for this ridiculous reason. Well, don't be afraid, we brought you here to confide. After saying that, he raised his hand and rubbed his shoulder, preparing to act. The other person rubbed his hands with his despicable face and replied, that's right, we intended to talk to you, just you. The young blonde man standing in the middle smirked and said, don't worry, this happens often, after saying that, evil smiles appeared on their faces. The blonde guy used all his strength to punch forward, laughing and saying, you heard what the teacher said, we have to exchange and learn from each other. At this moment, the spirit of resentment appeared from somewhere, looked at Rown and said plaintively, my, my master has been treated like that and still can't stand it, even though it's not a sad thing. Suddenly Rown had to attack, he punched the blonde-haired young man and sprayed bright red blood, the scream rang out and shook the whole corner of the forest. The two boys accompanying me felt scared, their mouths were big enough to fit the eggs, sweat was pouring down their faces. Round punched the blonde man so hard that he fell, and the remaining two men still seemed surprised and stood motionless. What happened was unexpected. I was shocked to see Round bounce back from his resentful friends, his mouth opened wide to fit the apple, not making a sound. Round said, talking, yes you're right, on the ground is a collapsed blonde-haired young man, he lost his signal temporarily. Put a dangerous smile on your lips, rotate your wrist joints to move your body to continue speaking, talk with your fists. Towards the boy next to him, Round used his hand to hit the nearest arm, causing the other guy to lose his balance and not be able to stand. Then Round used his knee to knock down his opponent, his screams rang out continuously. At this moment, while his friend was lying on the ground groaning in pain, the moans were continuously coming out, the person opposite looked at him and shouted, what are you doing? Why did he lose? Before he could finish his words, Round came from nowhere and used his fist to hit this guy's face, causing him to fall to the ground. As soon as the blonde guy woke up, he heard a scream next to him, he was crawling miserably on the ground. The spirit of resentment saw this, his eyes sparkled like starlight, his face worshipped and said, you just punched them, this scene is truly once in a thousand years. Over there, Round threw the quickest, most accurate punches, his opponent was defeated and collapsed. He was beaten so much that he could only collapse to the ground, his face bruised, and he let out an inarticulate groan in his throat, whoosh, cough. The group of friends were beaten by Round to the point where they couldn't resist, they were lying on the ground begging for mercy, no, I couldn't breathe any more, the blonde young man who was the loudest at first was humble enough to kneel and beg for mercy, there I was wrong, stop it. Round used his foot to step on his hand, his moans rang out non-stop, ah. Uh. Before we end everything, let me ask you a question, Round said with an evil smile, the blonde man gritted his teeth, painfully replied, okay, okay. Who made you guys do that, Baron, right? The loud noise made the blonde man surprised, the flow of time seemed to freeze at that moment. The blonde man obsequiously replied, otherwise we would hide it from him, Burren has nothing to do with this. Hearing the answer, Round remembered Burren and thought to himself, that's surprising, I thought he didn't like me, maybe he's not that mean. 
You guys won't go home and tell your classmates about today's conversation, will you? Ron's voice rang out. The blonde boy trembled and replied, Of course not. Ron used force and grabbed his hair, causing the blonde friend to feel pain and groan. Ah. Ron looked at the blonde guy and said menacingly, Okay, if you don't want to have to talk again tomorrow then try to stay away from me tomorrow. The blonde guy was scared, cold sweat poured out like rain, his pupils shrank, he trembled and replied, we won't touch you anymore, we were wrong, if you understand then go away, Ron said. In the distance under a certain tree, teacher Rimmer witnessed everything, watching the children leave, he smiled mysteriously. Looking in the direction of Ron Rimmer, he thought to himself, what a beautiful sight, it felt like witnessing the Lord when he was young, the boy's blood was real, he also had martial arts talent. With a smile on his lips, Rimmer whispered, a hidden gem among the best, I look forward to you, Round Zegit. The nightlife is quiet, so quiet, the moonlight quietly shines, most people are sleeping peacefully, only a few rooms still have lights on. In Ron's room, he and the spirit of resentment both looked at the system's notification page, the conditions were met, Rage was very satisfied with your reaction, quickly added one point, the spirit of resentment growled next to him. Uh. Round with a bored face looked up at the angry spirit screaming, what is this? Did you receive points for pleasing the elite emperor? This system is crazy, Round said dejectedly. You created it's out there. How come you don't know? The spirit of resentment facing Round growled and said, Of course, I have never tried this system with anyone else. This is because you stole it from the elite emperor. Round bent down and said, Is that so? The angry spirit screamed, The ungrateful brat. After saying that, he stood up, took the cup to drink water, and the resentful spirit next to him followed with an unhappy face and shouted, Yes. The resentful spirit said, I have a suggestion for you, Round replied, A suggestion. Round looked at the ghost and continued to wait for an answer, the ghost replied, You bet with the essence emperor, if you win, I will give you points, if you lose, you must accept my wrath. The system screen appeared, Round drank water and looked at the notification, furiously offered to bet with you, conditions, Pass the test for official students, get first place if successful, all information add to and receive any attribute, if defeated, create 10 points of indignation. Round looked at the system screen and said to the spirit, do you mean getting first place in the exam to become an official student that Rimmer mentioned, the spirit replied, yes, he said there will be first place, the result is clear, that's 10. Round continued, what about any attribute, as he spoke, he looked at the system window, the spirit replied, one of the attributes of the essence emperor will be given to you, of course the level will be given, lowered it for an ordinary person like you. So just one more question, create 10 points of angry emotions, what if you fail? Ron asked the resentful spirit, the resentful spirit replied, as the words say, you will receive the quintessential angry emotion, the empire owns. Own Lin looked at Sang Ron with a cunning smile and said, the feeling of rage that the emperor's essence imparted to you is nothing. But if you hold on to the Emperor's essence's anger, you will lose the ability to control your emotions, own emotions. Thinking of Ron losing control of his emotions, the resentful spirit happily replied, No matter how strong your will is. Ron looked at the resentful spirit, his expressionless face telling himself, So that was his intention. While drinking water and glancing at the resentful spirit, Ron thought, looking at the way he behaved like a person of trust, I didn't think he was lying. He even answered very honestly. Round thought, compared to the other reward, the risk of failure is quite small, perhaps this is the poison apple I have to eat, for a sick person like me, achieving valedictorian will be very difficult, but I am a good person, revived. Round raised his hand forward and replied, it's not bad, okay, I accept. Own Lin smiled devilishly, her eyes glowing and replied, very good. Ron's palm emitted a strange green light, the system window displayed a notification, you accepted the bet with anger, Round thought to himself, if I take advantage of the experience from my previous life, I will never lose, okay. The sun was high in the sky, shining fiercely on the student's practice yard, the sun was so strong that there were no clouds in sight. There was a classmate lying on the ground panting after practice. Besides that, there were two or three people resting like him, the moaning sounds continued, my legs were about to explode, I no longer had the strength to stand up, I ran and vomited blood in the morning and now it's like this. They remembered Mr. 
Rimmer's evil smile. His voice still echoed in their heads. What you were doing was the standing position. Even though it was just a horse riding position, don't take it lightly. This is the most basic position in martial arts. Everyone must practice it. Hold that position until the teacher says stop. I'm going to sleep. The train of thought is continuing. Oh of course it's not mandatory. So let me repeat. It's you guys who rest, not me. Teacher Rimmer's voice rang in their heads. Someone's scream rang out, interrupting the group's thoughts. It's too hard to do any more. When will we learn swordsmanship? A friend advised us to stop, so we left. Now we just run and stand. Ton. Buran spoke up, urging them to stand up, then stop complaining. The basic training session is over. Go practice. Because we are only learning basic exercises, your swordsmanship will be exposed. That's it. After saying that the group of people left. The spirit of resentment and Ron watched their backs leave. The sound of the spirit of resentment rang out. They were gone. They're going to practice sword play and you won't follow. Ron didn't seem to pay much attention to what the ghost said and walked towards the practice room in the house. Ron said, I don't need to go now. With these poor skills, practicing swordsmanship is just a waste of time. Ron thought to himself, what I need now is not a sword. It's the foundational strength and current physical strength that because of the ice curse, my physical strength is much weaker than others, Ron thought. Ron was doing push-ups. It seemed like he was trying his best. His teeth were clenched. Sweat was falling. So now I have to focus on strengthening my body more than anything else. Ron did push-ups and told himself to try harder. In a far corner, behind a row of cabinets, there was a figure lurking around, watching Ron practice. She is the young lady of Ronan Sullivan's vassal family. Looking at Ron who is practicing, she secretly thinks that name is Ron Zegert. Ronan couldn't help but groan. He's progressing really fast. His weights are heavier than yesterday. I definitely heard he was sick. But day by day, the weights he lifted became heavier. It was clear that he had to practice hard to be able to lift heavier weights. Ronan's face turned serious. Looking at Ron who was lifting weights easily, Ronan felt even more confused, but it was unreasonable to strengthen like that every day. How could he lift 10 kilograms of weight in a week? Maybe it's because he's different. Why is a patient so persistent? Ronan couldn't help but wonder in his heart. She walked over to where he was practicing, thinking to herself, Ron Zeger. Seeing Ron wearing a bandage, Ronan felt even more that there was definitely something shady about this guy. Ron raised his eyes to look at Ronan in front of him and couldn't help but wonder, Ronan Sullion. Why are you here? Ron said. Ron looked up and said, Ronan Sullion. Why are you here? Ron asked. The two people raised their faces, facing each other. The atmosphere was silent for a moment. Ron silently thought to himself, what happened to this child's development? Ronan suddenly froze, surprised by Ron's question. Ronan looked at Ron's handsome face. His heartbeat seemed to stop, Ronan's face was bewildered, his hands clasped tightly together. She stared at the round in front of her, her eyes wide open, as if every intention in her mind had been forgotten. She walked to the empty chair next to Ron and sat down, it seemed like Ron was quite surprised by her action. The two sat next to each other without saying a word, Ron looked at Ronan with a curious face to see what she wanted to do. Suddenly Ronan lifted the dumbbell causing Ron next to him to feel quite surprised and freeze for five seconds. Ron stood up and left, Ronan also following like a tail. Ron walked to the small weight training area, Ronan also practiced, she glanced at Ron and Ronan's heart suddenly woke up and realized, sure enough. While practicing, she thought, it was the smell from before. After the refreshing scent of Ron from before, after smelling that smell, my body felt lighter, Ronan felt like he discovered something very unexpected, that was clearly shown on his face, miss. Thanks to it, I can lift heavier weights than before, she unconsciously raised her hand and thought in a daze, the loud noise woke her back to reality, hey. Ron said, do you have something to say to me or something? Ronan replied unconsciously, no. Ron walked away with great doubt, Ronan saw that and quickly stood up as well. She looked at Ron's back and thought, Ron Regit, I will need to follow you a little more. From then on, whatever Ron practiced, Ronan followed. If he practiced his arm muscles, Ronan also practiced. Buran and his classmates walked in from nowhere and saw the scene before them. The atmosphere was silent and tense, as if something very shocking had happened. Ron turned around and saw Buran. 
he didn't seem to care too much about him. Burren's friends kept pestering him with angry tones, but in response there was only silence. One guy said, why would Runan follow that guy? Fuck, go out with the guy who got dumped. What's so good about leaving an official lineage like that? Burren clutched the wooden stick and said, hum, it's useless. Repeating the exercise over and over is of no use. He thought to himself, basically Ron lacks strength so he needs those simple exercises, but no matter how hard he tries, it won't affect us. I don't know what the test is about, but at least, it's like preparation for that day, Burren said. Looking at the wooden stick in his hand, Burren continued, if only to develop his own martial arts, it would be quite stable to continue practicing swordsmanship. One of Burren's friends looked towards Ron with an angry face, his hand clenched into a fist, Burren's voice said, let's go, don't pay attention to that mortgage guy. Saying that, Burren and his friends turned around and walked out of the indoor gym, Burren's voice rang out, the results would say everything on test day. The leaf fell onto the water, breaking the silence of the surrounding landscape, it seemed like Ron's life would be more volatile than before. In the practice room, the blue-haired boy's voice rang out, yes, Ron stopped practicing and turned his eyes to the person in front of him. Hello, I'm Dorian, can I practice with you guys, the blue-haired boy continued. Dorian raised his hand to touch his chest, gave a friendly smile and continued, I want to learn proper exercise form. Ron looked up at his face, which was neither hot nor cold and replied, well, I don't pay much attention. Thank you, so even though this isn't much, Dorian said as he reached into his bag to find something, Ron and Ronan both looked up with curious faces. Dorian held up a piece of cookie in front of Ron's face and said, but please eat this, it's delicious, Ron's expression was quite thoughtful and hesitant, it seemed like this was the first time he had received a cookie from a stranger. Ron looked at the piece of cake in his hand and said, I'm fine, so take it back, suddenly something caught Ron's attention. It was Ronan, it seemed like the biscuit in her hand attracted her. Ron felt quite surprised by Ronan's expression, she had never shown such an expression. Ronan's beautiful face and sparkling, glowing eyes made him fall in love, all the words seemed to be swallowed up in his heart. Not knowing what to do anymore, Ron's expression seemed quite helpless, he gave his cake to Ronan. Sitting next to Ron, Ronan was eating a piece of cookie with a happy face, Ron was depressed thinking to himself, now there's another stranger next to him. From then on, Ron had another tale, when Ron was instructing Dorian to lift weights, Ronan was next to him, looking around and studying. In the early morning, the warm rays of sunlight have just reached out, the morning dew has not yet melted away. A new day begins, Ron begins to turn the calendar page to the next, new day. He and his friends jogged to practice endurance. After that, they went to the practice room in the house to practice, the three of them were always attached to each other like a shadow, their feelings had gone one step further, no longer as distant as the first day. In another place, when the sunlight was high, the rays of sunlight crept through the red maple leaves, the wind gently swayed and blew the fallen leaves onto the lake surface, someone's shoes appeared next to them, scratches caused by practice. Those were Burren's shoes, he was still working hard and enthusiastically practicing his wooden sword, even though under the hot weather, he sweated continuously. It's been six months since he started practicing, Ron's eyes seem to be a bit sharper, a bit more steadfast. He spends every day with the intention of pushing the boundary between life and death, by pushing his endurance to the limit by running. Through his efforts, he realized that the backs of the people who stood in his way during his first training days were no longer visible. As he ran, he tried to exhale until the end of his windpipe and focused only on the people in front of him. Even though most of the obstacles blocking the way have been overcome, for Ron there are still big obstacles, there are only two people left in front of him, that is Burren and Ronan, to overcome these two people to win the championship position, Ron needs to try harder. And then time has finally passed, the sky is clear, the warm sunlight, mixed with clouds create a truly beautiful scene. And the morning of the test day came, a crowded and bustling atmosphere was taking place, people from all over came to the academy, they happily laughed and talked to each other. In the middle of the large square, an announcement rang out, thank you for coming here. As the guardians of the contestants this time, please follow the signs and move in order, the announcement echoed throughout the square. Down in our square, Ron and Han Ling were having a small talk before the test started, Ron Zigit said, 
Round Zigit, I don't know if you still remember the bet with the elite emperor. Looking at Sang Raon, he smiled dangerously and said, In the end, you still can't surpass those two people, so be ready to accept the wrath of the elite emperor. Raon waved his hand to push the resentful spirit away and said, Well, all the tests are different, so I don't know anything in advance, he walked away. Raon and Runan were walking together, seeing what Dorian was doing on the ground, Raon curiously asked, more importantly, Dorian, what are you doing down there? Dorian trembled and replied, no, it's just, I'm a bit too much, I'm nervous because today is test day, ha ha, just breathe out, even a weak person can talk. Raon felt surprised, he seemed to be affected by Dorian's words, seeing him unusual, Runan said, Raon, I brought this cookie to eat, Runan held the cookie in front of Raon, Raon waved his hand and replied, no, I'm fine. Buran seemed to pay special attention to Ron's group, he walked in front but didn't forget to turn around and glance at Raon. Thinking of the friends around him, Raon was depressed and silently lamented, why were there so many people like them near me? In the distance, Sylvia and Helen were extremely happy waiting for Ron's competition, Sylvia said, Helen look over there. Our Raon is standing there confidently, Sylvia happily smiled, Helen replied, of course, he has endured hard training for six months. Looking at the group of Raon in the distance, Sylvia said, it seems that Chungster's Raon also has friends, Helen continued, with Mr. Ron's personality, it's only natural. Recalling old memories, Helen lamented that Master Raon had never once complained because he was still young and understanding. Sylvia next to her had a small smile on her lips, proud of Raon. Suddenly a voice rang out, making friends and all, I'm so proud of him. This voice interrupted Helen and Sylvia's conversation, they paid attention to where the voice came from. A tall figure, handsome face, and powerful steps walked forward. Below, the sound of chatter rang out, the clan leader was coming in, the clan leader, the clan leader had personally come to see. The cold, stern face of clan chief Glenn Ziegert walked past everyone, he headed towards the position reserved for him. While everyone was carrying out the greeting rules with the patriarch, there were still whispers somewhere, hadn't he never come to see in person before? Teacher Rimmer had a smile on his face, a slightly surprised face and said, wow, what is the clan leader doing here? Glenn replied solemnly, it was an event that would shape the future of the clan, you all reacted as if this was a place I shouldn't go to. Rimmer shyly scratched his neck and replied, ha ha, of course not, welcome. He turned around to face the square with his voice, well, since the clan head will be here, we won't be wandering around anymore, we will immediately start the official trainee selection test, then, sir ladies and gentlemen, everyone the criteria that Zegit is quite curious about will now be revealed. Mr. Rimmer's eyes became serious and his joking tone was gone. From the teacher's body emitted an invisible source of power, blue light glowed, shining around. That light made all the students feel surprised, everyone had a bad feeling about this light. Aran also felt the same way, he put his hand out to block the light in front of him, his expression thoughtful. Teacher Rimmer's voice rang out, piercing through my pressure, it was today's test. Mr. Rimmer stood on a high platform, spread his arms, radiating his power. He smiled and said, pressure is simply something that cannot be separated from a warrior's life, this test will evaluate the level of that ability. A parent stood up and said indignantly, wait a minute, I objected, it hasn't been long since the children learned aura, why was the pressure test done so early? Besides everyone competing for opinions, in reality, there are still children who have not yet learned aura, a simple pressure test is too much effort, not to mention the words of a some kids, that all you do during class is sleep, what's with this test? Mr. Rimmer looked towards them and sighed helplessly. Rimmer spoke up to explain, pressure is not simply the application of mana, Real pressure is the level of spiritual power that a warrior has built up through their achievements. He went on to say, it was a testament to a warrior that he could be shown proficiency without an aura. A parent protested, what are you talking about? Suddenly Glenn's voice rang out, surprising him, what he said was not wrong. A person can only truly perceive pressure through the way he or she has lived and practiced, Glenn said, the other parent seemed taken aback by Glenn's answer, he faltered and replied, my lord mine. Mr. Rimmer smiled slightly and looked towards the patriarch. Lord Glenn's voice continued to ring out, 
Even a person without an aura could have immense pressure depending on how persistently he or she had practiced. Rimmer happily answered, It was true. Lord, you really understand everything. Then he turned around, faced the children, spread his arms, and happily said, That's it. I'm sure no one here has any opinions on the test anymore, right? So, let's ignore the troublemakers and start the test now. Run on, please step forward, the rest of you stay back, Rimmer said. When Runan was in front of him, Master Rimmer spoke, now Runan Sullyan. Looking at Runan, Mr. Rimmer said, the pressure I am about to release will be at a level that you can overcome if you have performed your best during the training. If you can overcome the pressure and touch it, on me, you will pass. With a smile on his face, Mr. Rimmer began to relieve the pressure. The test will start now, and when the teacher finishes, his eyes will become serious. A powerful blue light emitted. The distance between Runan and Master Rimmer was pushed further. This pressure, like a whirlwind, blew away Runan's silver hair. She let out a soft moan. Runan's hands raised up to rub her shoulders. Mr. Rimmer continued to laugh and say, You will fail immediately if you use your aura to resist this pressure. I want you to pass this test with the will you have built up through the training so far. Runan gritted his teeth and endured it. His eyes closed tightly, his hand reaching forward to block the force. She took each step slowly and steadily forward. Ronan's hand was raised in front of him. Behind him was the blurry image of Mr. Rimmer in a blinding blue light. When he touched Mr. Rimmer's hand with his arm, all pressure immediately disappeared, and the atmosphere returned to the beginning. Teacher Rimmer raised his hand and rubbed Ronan's head, seemingly encouraging her to pass the test. One hand the teacher raised the Ronan arm, the other hand filled the Ronan, Rimmer said, pass easily. Looking at Runan who was collapsed and panting, Rimmer spoke up, I can see the sweet fruit that comes from your hard work, I want you to continue moving forward with that will. The next hour was Dorian, Mr. Rimmer continued to call names, Dorian trembled and stammered in fear, who, that girl, what kind of ranking is this, Mr. Rimmer spoke up, I'll rank it however I like, so you should get up and get over here. Dorian stood up and walked in fear, sweat falling continuously, he walked past Runan who had just finished taking the exam. Standing in front of Dorian's scared look, Mr. Rimmer spoke up, you've seen what Runan did before you, right? I want you to use the willpower you've built up through training to overcome the wall, the pressure I exerted, Dorian's voice trembled, I think you can really do it, you're quite notorious for not having any willpower. Mr. Rimmer created a wall of pressure and smiled and said, well, if you don't have it, I'll simply fail you, it's that simple. Dorian faced the pressure in front of him, sat down, put his hands in front of him to protect himself, and moved step by step. In front of Dorian's exam, Roan pondered, not knowing his emotions. Looking up ahead, Roan crossed his arms in thought, the amount of pressure he released would be adjusted depending on the target. He's adjusting the pressure based on the kid's level and how much they've practiced, so he's really been observing each of them in detail. Rimmer, he called out his name in a state of contemplation, Suddenly, the teacher's voice rang out, interrupting Ron's thoughts. See, all you need to do is come here, you passed, Dorian, Mr. Rimmer bowed, smiled and said, looking at the scene where Dorian was trembling hugging his leg, Rimmer continued, however, you still still lacking confidence in your own skills, I advise you to hold your head high and face it from now on. Dorian seemed unable to get over the shock, vomited green and yellow bile at the teacher's feet, the teacher's voice rang out, well, I think that's enough for you to hear. The Rimmer's voice continued to ring out, okay next person, time flies quickly, the sky is clear blue, the sun is high overhead. The sunlight was intense, the rays of sunlight crept into the crevices of the wall, illuminating the lake surface. Next, Buran Zigit, teacher Rimmer shouted, Buran replied, yes. Buran raised his head high and faced Mr. Rimmer, he said, let's start right away. The teacher's sharp eyes appeared, with a smile, Mr. Rimmer began to radiate power. An extremely strong wall of pressure spread out, making Buran feel uncomfortable and use his arm to shield it, teacher Rimmer seriously checked. Buran gritted his teeth, thinking in annoyance, does he want me to go to him while having to endure this? Buran spread his legs wide, thinking to himself, it's completely different from what I saw outside, how could Runan overcome something like this? That pressure made Buran kneel on one knee, he gritted his teeth, silently lamenting, 
he couldn't take another step. Seeing Burren easily collapse in front of teacher, Rimmer said, you definitely have a talent that is completely superior to everyone else. The number of people who can compete with me among the 160 students here can only be counted on the fingers of one hand, however, Rimmer finished speaking. Teacher Rimmer paused and continued, I, as well as the other students who followed me, were wasting my time. What is the point of cultivating swordsmanship when one lacks a goal? What you should be doing is not practicing your swordsmanship, but training your body and will. I always only rely on aura when things get difficult. If I use it now I will fail immediately. The teacher's voice seemed to have awakened strength in Burren. He clenched his teeth and thought to himself, I said, I cannot fail. He remembered the old memories, telling himself, there was no way I could forget that time, the time when his father refused to let his brother inside. Burren continued to think, I can't forget his cold eyes, if I can't get over this, I'll be thrown away too. Then he stretched out his arms, stood up, and tried his best to move forward. Burren jumped forward, his shoes colliding with the ground, making loud noises. Mr. Rimmer smiled and looked at Burren who was reaching out to touch him and said, I passed. You're still just a 12-year-old kid, I want you to stop acting like an adult and practice at a density appropriate to your age, Mr. Rimmer said. Mr. Rimmer looked at the Burren in front of him, smiled and commented, if the only thing you do is look forward, you won't be able to notice the sharp thorns piercing through your feet. Rimmer glanced at the group and spoke up, now. Finally round Zegit, teacher Rimmer said, it seems like special people often come on air at the last moments, Round stepped forward with expressionless face and replied, yes. Round gradually walked towards Mr. Rimmer, there were whispering noises when it came to his exam. Rimmer looked at Round and happily laughed and said, you are the last one, prepare to soar. Round raised his face to look at Rimmer and replied, of course. So let's begin, after Mr. Rimmer's voice ended, an extremely strong wall of pressure spread out around him. The distance between Mr. Rimmer and Round seems extremely far, it seems extremely huge. This wall is extremely strong, the teacher's power spreads out, surprising everyone. Before Ron's test, Sylvia called out his name in panic, Round, while Helen also secretly covered her mouth in worry. King Glenn also felt quite surprised, frustrated, thinking, what the hell is this pressure? Facing Rimmer, Round stood firmly, a bit shyly replied, is this really your test? Mr. Rimmer laughed and replied, I don't know, but the talent I see in you is definitely above Ronan and Burren. Try to endure this, Mr. Rimmer continued smiling even more. Round used his hand to block the light emitted, as if he was thinking about something, a soft hum came out. He thought, spiritual level is not something contained in the body but it is in the category of the soul. I even have levels from my life as an assassin, Ron's thoughts continued, and then he stepped forward passing the barrier in front of him. Mr. Rimmer's face was shocked. He was quite surprised, exclaiming in his mind, can he overcome this much pressure? King Glenn also felt quite surprised. His face darkened, his eyebrows furrowed. Ron's arm was raised forward. At this moment Mr. Rimmer exclaimed, how could you? Rimmer thought in his head, this is really unreasonable, right now, this is something that should have gone beyond the realm of impossibility. At the same time Round used force to touch Mr. Rimmer's abdomen, making him unsteady, cutting off his train of thought. Everyone on the stage couldn't believe what they saw today, the surroundings were quiet, no one spoke up. Rimmer and King Glenn's faces also hardened, not believing what had happened. Rimmer smiled and said, is the test over yet? Under the surprised and surprised eyes of everyone, the Lord still couldn't believe his eyes. Mr. Rimmer didn't expect that a cripple with no aura could pass the test. He called Ron and asked, What are you? Ron said that the teacher has been observing for six months and you are Ron. The teacher replied that I asked like that because you have done better than what I taught you in the past six months. I created pressure beyond your ability but I didn't expect I could get through it. Ron looked at the teacher. The teacher suddenly startled and said he knew. The teacher quickly cleared the atmosphere. He laughed and said it seemed like the headmaster had distracted him and that Ron Zegit was the final candidate of the official student selection. Burren Zegit was worried when the teacher said he would announce the top students. The Lord couldn't help but feel tense when the teacher mentioned the top students of training school number 5. 
All eyes turned to Roan when the teacher said he was the official top student. Ronan burst into tears and told the maid that Aran had won first place. The maid also burst into tears when Roan had achieved it. Everyone was talking and couldn't believe how Ron Zegit was the first student. Someone asked young master Buran why he passed. Buran shouted and told me that I don't accept it. This is not true, you are lying. The teacher asked again, what lie? Buran angrily said that Ron's strength and talent were both inferior to hers, and she couldn't accept that someone like him was ranked first. Buran couldn't hold back his emotions and said it was obvious that he was playing tricks, it was obvious that he was playing tricks. But the people around looked at each other and said that what Buran said made sense. But the rumors gradually became more and more heated, asking why he was still on top despite being cursed with ice, it was said that he didn't even have aura, or that he bribed the teacher. It seems that everyone gradually believes the rumors about Mr. Rimmer and believes that accepting bribes is true. Buran continued to tell Mr. Rimmer that we are all warriors of the Zegit family, instead of such an exam, I think we should have a competition to decide who passes. Mr. Rimmer smiled. The teacher told Buran that you wanted the position of top student so much, Buran Zegit. Buran suddenly panicked and stammered, no, that's not it. Then Mr. Rimmer announced that unfortunately the test was over, what do you think the clan leader should do? The clan leader responded to Rimmer round Zegit's words, the others don't seem to accept this result, do you want to fight the Buran? Buran smiled and glanced at Round. Round calmly said no. He said that the test is over and the results are out, so why bother fighting with him without getting any benefits? Roan turned to look at Buran and said that he always talked about his orthodox lineage and honor, I didn't think he would lose so miserably. Buran gritted his teeth and said bastard. The Lord continued saying that then let's do it. Let's fight for the top trainee position if you win I will give you a bronze card. Roan thought to himself in surprise. Regarding gold cards, bronze cards will be given by the family depending on each person's achievements, each card is corresponding to a different reward, even if it's just a bronze card, the card is given directly by the clan leader, Roan thought that I will get something from it. He thought it looked like the clan leader wasn't happy when he achieved first place, then Roan told the clan leader he understood. The clan leader immediately said so let's begin. Brown and Buran glanced at each other when they heard who said this time would decide the most talented student. The rules of the competition are that this is a one-round duel. Whoever uses an Auru or a weapon will be eliminated and can only use their own defense. Mr. Rimmer declared it was okay. Mr. Rimmer waved his hand and said to begin. Buran quickly advanced to attack. Brown quickly leaned over to perfectly dodge Buran's blow. Buran continued to put all his strength into raising his legs to attack. Round immediately used his hand to block Buran's kick. Buran raised his fist towards Round and shouted that this is a tiger trait that my father personally taught. There are no rules against using boxing so this is not illegal. Buran attacked Round with all his might. Everyone standing outside excitedly said that it was true that young master Buran was different, that Round boy couldn't move. Buran angrily attacked with all his might at the thought that someone weaker than me was of a related lineage. Buran continued to attack and resented within himself how dare you target my position as a first-class student. Buran thinks back to the past saying that the Zegat clan has no need for weaklings. Buran was always raised with the admonition not to disappoint his father. Buran attacked with all his might that his father was looking at him, he had to prove himself. Buran put all his strength into not having such a person left over. Round still defended but avoided Buran's heavy attack. Round saw something passing by. That you can see it. Round saw from Buran's fists to his rhythm. Everything was clear before Ron's eyes. Buran rushed forward and shouted, Round Zegit, if you give up, I will finish you off with this attack. Both threw blows in each other's direction. Round replied to what Buran said, why should he surrender? Ron's fist grazed. Both hands punched each other hard. Buran could not withstand Ron's attack so he fell. Buran slid out not believing what was happening. Round took the opportunity to attack again. Buran was knocked down by Ron's attack. Buran was extremely confused. Everyone around was extremely surprised and shouted, unable to believe their eyes, how did that happen? The clan leader glared in disbelief. Buran fell to the ground in defeat, unable to believe it and said, how did you know you were missing the tiger right? Round looked down at Buran who was on the ground and said you showed me. 
Round calmly said I was just imitating your boxing. The students were surprised and said to each other, he just used the tiger punch. This is so absurd, how could he use the tiger punch? A male student wondered and asked his friend, was it because it was secretly imparted to him? If not, then what happened? This is so impossible. The male lead's face is expressionless and cold. The male lead's opponent was kneeling at his feet. The red-haired boy felt horrified and had to cover his mouth and thought to himself, this kid is really talented. The red-haired boy remembered what happened earlier and thought, this kid was able to negate the vortex of the tiger fist by creating an opposing vortex punch, just being able to read your opponent's martial arts direction is enough for people to call you a genius. But it can also turn that direction into a skill of its own. The red-haired boy was still in shock, thinking in his head, this is the type of talent that can stand at the top of this continent, this is what the Zegit family is looking for. A natural talent. I think this match is over, as everyone can see, the result is quite clear. The red-haired boy announced, the winner is round Zegit, with this today's test has come to an end. After the red-haired boy's announcement, a blonde-haired woman quickly ran up. The blonde woman headed towards the main male. The woman hugs the male lead. The male lead's face clearly showed happiness. The woman hugged the male lead with tears filled with joy and happiness, along with the ghost thought, I'm hungry so let's go home. At the same time, the white-haired boy's family was also in a happy mood with the father's happy tears hugging his son and the mother's affectionate eyes. However, the blue-haired loser's situation was not so good because of his injury, so the butler had to help him. The blue-haired boy suddenly looked panicked when he saw something. A blonde-haired man looked straight at the blue-haired boy then turned and left with cold eyes. The blue-haired boy's face turned pale. He blankly looked at the blonde man's back. Darkness covered the sky and the house appeared. Dim candlelight shines in the room. A blonde-haired man sat in a chair with his back to the blue-haired boy. Fear was evident on the blue-haired boy's face. The blonde man spoke, Buren, the blue-haired boy was startled and quickly responded, Yes, father. He said, Do you remember what I told you? The blue-haired boy replied, Dad told me to return as the top rookie and told me to never lose to anyone. Well that's not too much. I told you to defeat the Sullyan Wench family and after trampling on Round, return as the top of your class. The man got angry and said harshly, forget about going back to the Wench house, have you lost to that trash that was thrown away from the main house, are you trying to make me a laughing stock or something, or do you want your fate to be the same as your two older brothers? The blue-haired boy replied in panic, and no. He said again, you ruined your first chance and they will choose the top of the class after awarding grades to the students at the end of graduation. Make sure you bring that position back to me. After instructing the man, he said, go away, the blue-haired boy replied, yes. The blue-haired boy walked and thought back to what his father said earlier, if you still want to live under the Zegit family, don't fail in this last chance. He angrily punched the wall with his fist and said, damn it. It's all because of that damn bastard. I can't believe all this happened because of that trash round. He walked away and said to himself, damn how can things be like this, I will definitely practice harder to never lose again. The young man helplessly covered his face. The blue-haired boy's eyes filled with murderous intent appeared. The boy's footsteps suddenly stopped in front of a building and he said to himself, why did I come here? He thought to himself, did I come to this place unconsciously while thinking? The guy opened the door and walked in. He looked around the room and thought, is there no one here because the test just ended. His hand grabbed the dumbbell and lifted it up. Suddenly he saw something. A wardrobe appeared before my eyes. The first cabinet containing Ron's name appears. He walked forward with the intention of opening it. The closet door is open. If you just look in it will be fine, right? It's not like I'm stealing anything, I'm just looking. He was suddenly surprised, wondering, what is this about these shoes? He thought to himself, even if he did a simple count, there were more than 10 couples here that he had gone through in just six months, I've only had to change shoes twice. Something sounded and he turned his head to look. A silhouette of a blonde man sitting on a chair lifting weights appeared. Drops of sweat rolled down his face. Suddenly he remembered, he had to remember that he was always practicing. While I'm still ignoring the basics and waving my sword to show off to others, or when I'm comfortably resting in my own room. Even though he exudes the essence of the Zegit family, I went and did the complete opposite. After thinking about it, the boy suddenly realized it. The chair is now empty. 
two dumbbells lying on the floor. His hand held the shoes thoughtfully. He put the shoes back in the closet. Closed the cabinet. He walked away and said to himself, Damn how can things be like this? I will definitely practice harder to never lose again. The blue-haired boy looked up at the sky. His determined eyes seemed like the boy was determined to do something. In Ron's room, the quintessence emperor couldn't help but feel annoyed. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I have lived for hundreds of years, and have never met anyone like you. He glared at Ron. what are you? Ron is indifferent, who knows, you can think whatever you like. He looked at the board in front of him and asked, first tell me what this ability is, the elite emperor replied, snow flower intuition, the ability you received is too good for your mediocrity. This ability has the ability to increase the range of your awareness, now just one star can increase it by about 10%. He was proud, I still had 10 times more awareness of my essence than before, Round was surprised, that's great. He asked, but why was it the name of the consciousness of the snow flowers? If you like, naming it like that doesn't sound good, Round teases the emperor, no matter how you think about it, you're bad at naming things. Made him annoyed, ha, huh, who could say that sentence? Talking to her mother, Round heard the call, the patriarch, and calling him the young master. Sylvia was worried, did he summon Round to do something wrong? The butler reassured her, ha ha, don't worry, lady. The patriarch just wants to personally give the bronze card to the young master. Rao knelt before the clan leader and consulted the clan leader. He admitted that, even though he didn't like it, I would still keep my promise, the old butler next to him immediately obeyed the order, yes, chief. The butler followed orders and walked down to Rao. He heard the chief's voice say, Rao Zegit, as promised you will be given a bronze medal. Later, when returning it, the child will receive an object or a good privilege. He looked at the token in his hand. So I have a request right now. Sylvia Zegert, the name was said to surprise the patriarch. What should I do to regain the position my mother once had? He was somewhat surprised by this question. Initially, I mean the position of her in the direct lineage. Yes, Round wondered about the clan leader's thoughts. It seemed like he suddenly agreed to something like this. Achievements, if you achieve achievements that the whole family recognizes, then it is possible, but it is not that simple. Gaining the recognition of others is as difficult as picking stars from the sky. It's almost impossible, especially for a brat like you. These words from the clan leader made Ron think for a while. He answered with a confident smile, but he said there was nothing. He put the bronze order back on the butler's tray, surprising him. That's all. Thank you for the patriarch's answer. Then leave. Suddenly Ron was stopped by a call. Wait. The patriarch continued to say, You still haven't asked about your reward. It's just a question, no command needed, I can still let you answer. Raon could not help but be surprised, unexpectedly heard these words from the king destroyed the north. He ordered me, tell me what you want. Raon gripped his hand, so there was something I used to think about, I need it the most. He replied, I want to have cultivation techniques, the patriarch replied, that's what the instructors will teach you when you start your basic training. Raon placed his hand on his chest, I need a better aura cultivation technique than the one learned during basic training. Please give me a cultivation technique that matches the bronze tablet's command. The technique of cultivating the shadow of his previous life is not enough. To restore the position of Sylvia and Deris's slice, I have a stronger aura than that. So what you want is cultivation techniques, right? The patriarch snapped his fingers. A new door opened in front of Ron. He was amazed at the huge warehouse of books. This is it. The patriarch explained, in one of the Zegat family's bookshelves, if you put your hand on the center, the book you need will appear immediately. I understand. He silently prayed that he would spin the gacha to get a super VIP pro item, he just needed something better than the technique of cultivating the spirit of darkness, hoping that something useful would appear. A book appeared in front of Ron. He frowned, what is this old book? The clan leader seemed surprised by this. The butler couldn't keep calm either. The clan leader exclaimed, what is going on? Why do I have that book? Round looked intently at the book. 10,000 fires practice. Round touched the book, what kind of technique this is? It suddenly moved continuously. The pages of the book suddenly flew out, surprising Round. The clan leader, witnessing the scene before his eyes, couldn't help but think, do you think Sylvia is estranged from the clan? He reminisces about the past, it's not something we need to know, 
the prosperity of the nation is the top priority right now people are going to do other things. Sylvia get close to another man and run away from home, don't report such trivial matters to me. After the days of thinking of the family and brushing the affection aside, we have built an army that can cross the fierce fund wall. Our family is growing stronger and stronger. So what did we lose? One day he heard the news, sir, there was news that your son-in-law and niece had been attacked. The attacker seems to be the twin demons that Lady Sylvia investigated in Eden, she seems to be okay, but the other two died on the spot, report, because the attack was too sudden to be possible. Pitiful, we finally have emotions again, but things can't come back as before, so round, even though we have children and Sylvia hate this time. I must protect you. Round had now regained his composure, he looked down at his hands, what was this, his body and mind were being pushed along. Round Zegit, the patriarch's voice rang out. What did you do just now? I don't know, I just remember the practice of the Dharma disappear in my hand. He continued to ask, what is the name of the book? Is ten thousand fires of practice, Ten thousand fires of practice you have to face the eternal fire you have remembered all ten thousand fires of practice. The clan leader continued to ask him. You said you just got the content, Round admitted, yes. It seems he got the answer he wanted, I understand, then it's okay. He ordered, you have received your reward for the bronze tablet, now you can go home. After Round left, only then did the butler come back to confirm, is it the cultivating skill that young master Round received? Before he could finish his sentence, the clan leader admitted, yes. Is the cultivation skill of the first clan head. In the history of the Zegit clan, no one was able to retrieve or read that cultivation technique. Unexpectedly, the boy learned the 10,000 fire cultivation technique. The butler is worried. If this is revealed, young master Raun and Lady Sylvia may be in danger. The clan leader reassures you. You don't have to worry. No one knows about the 10,000 fire cultivation technique. The practice book has disappeared. What should I do now? It's okay. It's been passed on to someone else. The clan head stood in front of the giant library. After all, no one had learned the 10,000 fire cultivation technique. If it wasn't passed on to the boy, it would have been lost. I have a hunch. The future will bring a new breeze. As for Round, he returned to his room with the emperor. No matter how you think about it. This is so strange. Why did he give me this? Not to mention the gambling order. Even the gold coins are not enough to exchange, practice this skill. This thing is not inferior to the fire ring at all, you have to learn it properly. However, when he closed his eyes, he always saw a stream of essence before his eyes. No matter how many times I try to touch it, I can't catch it. Raun admitted that he failed again. Even though I've tried many times, it's difficult to accumulate spiritual energy, I didn't expect to be able to learn this high-level cultivating skill in one go. But. Tin Tinder was teasing me. It seems like you're having a hard time. Go all out. You have to be careful. If you're cultivating and someone else touches you, you'll be in big trouble. Round looked at the fireball. What is this guy planning? But he had to admit, rage was right. 10,000 fire cultivation technique absorbs nature's energy and accumulates aura in the energy center. If I interrupted at a critical moment, the mana circuit or energy field can be interrupted and I can becoming a disabled person is even more dangerous for me, because my mana veins contain ice energy. Yes, if you already know that then don't interfere, the essence emperor smiled, I don't know what will happen. Round seemed to understand something, wait, don't tell me. He smiled even more brightly, just once, to let my essence emperor interrupt you, just once while you were cultivating. Round broke out in a cold sweat. It's not fun if you have to use a disabled body, right? The quintessence doesn't care about your answer, it's okay. You're human so you can't make it, but even your limbs are severed. Or if the energy center is exploded, the essence will still restore everything. When you are disabled and give up everything, that is my emperor's best opportunity. I didn't expect to meet a reckless guy, I see, you said it only once, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what tricks you'll come up with this time. The essence emperor is flying around, you've exploded again, tremble in fear every day, because you don't know when my essence emperor will attack. Round looked at the fireball flying in front of him, this guy is really an enemy. He is a demon from the demon world who is always ready to take possession of him every chance he gets, and he is the embodiment of rage. I thought he was quiet so I gave up on that idea and from now on I have to be careful with him, he sighed, 
Okay let's leave it later, we need to deal with more important urgent matters first. Quintessence, you're finally planning to deal with her, Ram walks towards the window, yeah it can't be a coincidence, she comes here every night. We have to deal with her, he thought to himself, it's been a long time since I did my old job. On the riverbank, Judiel's annex maid is doing something very shady, I have nothing to report unless he keeps muttering to himself, but this time I have something to report for real. Unexpectedly, he could receive such a high-level cultivation skill with just that bronze token. She had been continuously monitoring Ram for many days, and the flow of mana was extremely intense while he was cultivating his aura, it was unbelievable. This is truly important information for the Martial Arts Center, Judiel quickly wrote a letter. Because it's an order, I have to do it, but he's just a child, I don't know how long I can fool him. Looking at the letter swept away by the water, Judiel decided it was time to go back. Let's go back now, but a knife was placed on her neck. If you dare open your mouth, I will kill you. If you dare to move, you will die. That person continued to command, lower your eyes and look at the lake. Judiel followed suit, worried that he didn't know who he was. Who could radiate murderous aura like this? She couldn't help but be amazed at the reflection in the river, round Zegit. Why is this kid following me? He spoke up. Ever since I returned to this annex, I felt your scrutinizing eyes, have you gotten any news yet? Judiel was scared, there was no way he already knew. I thought I didn't leave any traces, so he just pretended not to see, why? Hold the blade tighter, Round ordered, open your mouth. A pill was then stuffed into her mouth. Once finished, he picked up the piece of paper Judiel had just written. Round turned around and asked, I can't read the content of this letter, this type of paper needs a special way to read it, right? He muttered, water, earth, fire, wind, moonlight, sunlight. So it was moonlight, after hearing these words, Judiel was even more terrified. How do you know? Round did not answer, continuing to list a series of names, Ares Giergit, Karen Zegit Denier. After observing Judiel's facial expression, he guessed, so it's Karen Zegar's order. Judiel went from one surprise to another, I don't know, my expressions have no mistakes at all, I've spent many years practicing to become an expert spy, just read my expressions, how could he read that much? Wait no more, the pain is writhing in my body, the fact that he can easily read my thoughts. She suddenly understood, there's only one way to explain this, what he stuffed down my throat. Could it be crazy insects? Before that, Karen ordered Judiel to infiltrate the annex building and send me all the information about Ron and Sylvia. If you perform this mission well, I will give you something. It seems like there is a contract between them. Judiel worriedly asked Ron, did you feed me crazy insects? He was surprised. Oh, you even know about crazy insects. What you know about crazy insects surprises me. After hearing the answer, Judiel's nausea came. By injecting it into the target's body, the poisoner can perceive not only their location but their thoughts as well. Insect madness is one of the most terrifying curses in the world, the poisoner said. The poison could kill its target whenever it wanted, with excruciating pain. She was almost certain, that expression was without a doubt, absolutely insane. You sent this letter to Karun Zigit, so you must be a spy sent by the Martial Heart Palace, and this mission must have started seven months ago, after the judgment ceremony. You have investigated thoroughly, haven't you? Not just me, but also my mother, Helen, and all the other maids. Judiel was frightened by Ron's words, I thought this was a simple mission. Just gathering information about the disabled child Ron and Sylvia, I thought I could complete the mission easily. But there's a monster living in this annex. She pleaded, I will change the content, I will report the false information. But Ron thinks differently, forget it. Even if you change your cell phone information, Karun will still know about me. He walked towards Judiel, it only made him realize your incompetence. He said with a dangerous look in his eyes, from now on, you will be a double agent. You will report to him any information that he soon discovers, hide important information and do not reveal it to anyone, on the contrary you must bring me valuable information, price from his side, hearing that, Judiel hastily agreed, okay I will do as you wish. After speaking, he immediately left, see you next time. I hope to receive useful information. On the way home, the Essence Emperor wondered, how did you summon the crazy insect, 
but it turns out that Rao never used that thing. I don't want to use that disgusting thing. I fed her a poison pill, causing her temporary severe pain. The essence emperor was surprised. Wait a minute. Did you read her mind just now? Round doesn't deny it. You can rely on a few factors to probe others. Others can't see it. But I yes. This statement made the quintessence emperor realize. This is the real devil. After that, while Round was still passionate about training, the day to return to training school came. During that time, although I kept trying, by the day of departure he still couldn't create an aura. At the training school, Round realized that, 42 people had passed the exam, only one quarter of the original number remained. Rimmer is right that he is very strict about results. Suddenly he heard a call from afar. I turned around and saw my friend run on. Two people stood facing each other. A few days ago at the Sullyan family mansion, Ranan was asked, so young master Ran helped our daughter practice, she admitted, yes. Her mother smiled, did you greet him and say thank you, when he gave you snacks, yes, her mother continued to ask, what about when he helped you practice. The daughter honestly replied, no, which surprised the mother, what's wrong. Father told me not to start a conversation with my son first, after hearing my answer, mother Ranan's face turned black, Aha, I knew it. Run on, when it comes to expressing gratitude, gender is not important. If you have received help, you should always respect and be grateful to them, it is common courtesy. Her mother advised, remember, don't forget. That's why she came to round to say thank you, thank you. This made him freeze a bit, ha, huh, oh yeah. The elite emperor next to her didn't understand the end of the story, why did she suddenly say thank you like that? and even Ran himself hadn't finished downloading yet, I don't know how could I know. While Ranan was feeling accomplished for saying thank you, another person came to find Ran, young master Ran. He lamented, young master, how are you? And I thought I'm going to die, when I was only a temporary student I felt like I wanted to die. So I can't imagine how much more difficult it will be now that I've become an official student, I keep having these dreams, last night I couldn't sleep, I just couldn't sleep, I'm afraid I won't be able to do it. And by the way, it's really Oa. The words poured out like a waterfall from Rona's ear to the other, making even the quintessence emperor sigh, you talk so much. But I'm very happy because young master Raun is the top student. If young master Buren is the leader, then me. Before he could finish his sentence, he was startled by the person standing behind him. That was Burden. Burden stood facing Raun. It seemed like the eye-catching match would never end when Burden spoke up. I'm sorry, I admitted my failure last week, letting everyone see my embarrassing appearance. However, I won't give up. No matter how hard I tried, I still stood in front of you. I will not retreat, nor give up, he said then turned away. Brown stood behind and exclaimed, I didn't expect a 13-year-old child to admit his mistakes, it's really different being raised by a big family. Meanwhile, the Tin Hu Emperor is extremely aggressive, he has been beaten up and still doesn't know his fate. Quickly follow him and gouge out his eyes, Raun quickly stops him, that's fine, calm down. He continued to scream, WHO cares about that, at this moment, Roma's voice was heard, sorry for being late. He scratched his head and walked over, the teacher overslept because he accidentally drank some wine the day before. You all have a good rest. Standing in front of the students, Roma spoke up, first, I congratulate you on becoming official students, we will begin formal training from today onwards. Overall, it will still be the same as before, from now on there will be a few more training programs added. In the first session, we will learn about spiritual cultivation methods. Before he could finish his sentence, the entrance was kicked open by a black-haired girl. She screamed, damn it, the door wouldn't open, I almost got into trouble. A student couldn't help but be scared, that person must be while Rummer seemed to have been waiting for her for a long time, I'm finally here, please pay attention, I'm not the one in charge of guiding her, but she that is the student who failed from the previous round. Since everyone will be training together from now on, let's say hello to everyone. The girl introduced, I'm Martha Zegert. Rummer introduced, even though she looks like that, she's a very kind girl, then Martha stopped her, first of all. Who is the top student? I can't let a lower class person stand above me like that, I have to see which bastard is holding that position. Come out here, let's have a match. Martha loudly challenged, why don't we have a fight? This makes Round feel extremely annoying, is there a problem with feng shui, 
why do I have to get involved with these people? However, he still spoke up. I am Round Zegit, I am a first class student. Martha looked at the person standing in front of her. You don't look like a first class student at all, okay? Don't have to say much, just play once and you'll know. Unexpectedly, Burden spoke up to stop her. Martha Zegit, why are you so rude? This made her uncomfortable. This kid spoke so disrespectfully to his seniors. She warned loudly, if you say such stupid things again, you will die immediately. Next time, you better choose your words before speaking. Be careful. Burden, of course, did not give up. Round Zegit was recognized as the top student in front of the Lord and the instructors. Do you mean you doubted the decision? Martha questioned. I thought you were making a fuss about that, but that's not true. That's why I did that, Burden replied. I don't want to see my embarrassing appearance again. Round stood behind and thought to himself, Buran it's really changed. Ronan suddenly ran out to block Round. She raised her hand to protect him, staying away. Martha felt this was funny, it's so good, what a beautiful friendship, my cheeks are torn and wrapped in tattered leaves. She turned around and left, if I continue to do that, I'll be the one in the wrong, that's it, I'll be the bad guy. But you know I really am. I really hate cowardly people who hide behind other people's backs, they even pathetically use complacent names, in the end, Martha couldn't help but rush in. Buran and Runan didn't have time to react. Towards Martha, she raised her fist towards Round, blocking take. Unexpectedly, he just gently dodged to the side. Before she could recover, he punched her. The impact pushed the two of them away. Buran was surprised, while the professor just smiled. After recovering, Martha became angry. Really funny. The ground under her feet crumbled. It seems like she has no intention of stopping the fight here. Don't think that just leaving will be the end of the matter. But the professor stopped him. That's enough. Martha was surprised. Since when was he here? Roma knows exactly what she's thinking. Martha, it seems like you're looking down on me too much. If you go easy on me, Teacher, don't act like I'm invisible. Buran and Runan may have learned spiritual aura, but Round hasn't. Don't you think winning with that advantage isn't fun at all? I'll let you fight Round comfortably after he learns the spirit. Martha pushed the teacher's hand away. I was planning to use my hand too. Professor said to Round, go back to your position, Round. Even though she wasn't attacked, the quintessence emperor couldn't help but feel angry. What are you doing? How dare you let that brat attack me? You had to tear her limbs off and then imprison her in ice for the new year, right? Round replied, I already fought back. It seems like that's not enough for the fireball. How can it be enough? You have to find her head and body. He refused. No, now is not the time. It seems like Round has his own plan. It's better to fight when he wants to get something from her. To lure her with this title of first class student. He said to the essence emperor, just wait. Next time I will show you a good show. After a while of practice, the students have a break. Okay, everyone take a 10 minute break. Buran looked down at his hand, as I expected. It's not easy at all. After learning the two star high level supreme power, it's not that difficult, but getting to three is difficult because it combines many advanced techniques, different. Then he looked towards Raun, but Raun, him. Even though it's only been a month since it started, even it took me a month to learn the seven shapes punch. He only learned the sword technique at the same time as me. Looking at Martha, it seems I'm not the only one feeling pressured by his progress. He spoke up. Are you also being caught up? Damn it, she cursed. She couldn't help but feel pressured by the top position in the school, round Zegit even though this was his first time learning boxing, how could he progress so quickly? He doesn't look like he's been trained before like Buran or Runan. His body isn't normal either because he has ice inside. How can he practice all day with that body? Martha was furious. Can't be left behind like this. Her talent is formidable. That's what everyone says about her. Since being adopted by the Zegit family, Martha has always been a hunter. I surpass all the direct and collateral lineages. These guys are nothing like they always yell at me for being a genius this and that. Then it's ironic when they're desperate. I am the genius. I am the best. That was who I was but now I'm very worried that I can't control it anymore. The butler welcomes you back. You have performed very well today, Lady Martha. She just nodded in agreement and quickly walked past. Don't worry, miss. His words startled Martha. She questioned, what did you say? The butler repeated, like I said, because he showed his good side, people forgot, 
but young master Round will have no chance of defeating you at least, letters. She doubts, he will never defeat me. On what basis do you say that? The butler immediately revealed that young master Round had a fatal weakness that he could not overcome. The students are asking for help. I want to ask you this, look at her posture. No, I can't ask, but his swordsmanship is so good, but it seems like they're too shy to do that. Martha clapped her hands, great. I didn't expect that in such a short time, you could practice with me, you're even better than a genius, you learn so fast. But, your mana sensing ability is so weak that no matter how much you practice, it's useless, it's a pity. Maybe you can at least become a sword instructor. People around did not react. She thought to herself, no one said anything, just like I thought. No one thought that this idiot still hadn't mastered aura, after four months in a row. Last night, it was the butler who revealed this, young master round doesn't have any aura talent, ha. Huh? She probably didn't know because this happened after she was adopted, but at the evaluation ceremony, young master Ron's mana sensitivity was at its lowest level. The only person who hasn't learned the aura in the fifth training hall is young master round. The bronze medal will only help that day to have an average training method or a little better, only better than the beginner Linden training method, just a little bit of everyone. But that day, I still hadn't mastered any methods, so the results of the evaluation ceremony were probably correct. This amused Martha, the butler continued, he may be the best at swordsmanship and fighting but if he can't use aura, you can't become a real martial artist. She proudly turned away, I'm still angry about losing to that guy. But that guy wasn't even worth bothering me with. While thinking, Martha was startled because how long had Runan been standing there? Martha spoke up, do you want to tell me something? Runan just said, go away, making Martha laugh, aha, that's all. Runan became more determined, go, Martha has no reason to stay, smiled and said, I'm leaving. I still have to attend mainstream classes. After practice, round side, I guess that's enough for today. He felt quite satisfied with the training results. On the battlefield I didn't learn martial arts, but how to survive and kill people, only my assassination skills improved, I couldn't even learn anything else. Round feels like this is more fun than he thought, I didn't expect it to be this fun, learning martial arts to develop myself like this. Where did the emperor's essence fly out? Screaming, have you figured it out yet? I can't believe you stood still like that when you were insulted, Round asked again, insulted. Tintin is angry, that black-haired girl, she keeps saying bad things about you, it seems like Round doesn't pay attention to this at all, ah, is that so, I don't listen, I'm too focused. This makes the elite even more upset, you should have paid more attention, if she had said that to me, I would have frozen her, Round stopped me, I told you, now fight her, no benefit at all. Even without the 10,000 transformation skills, I could easily defeat her, and was about to leave. Ron immediately met Runan at the door. He asked, why are you standing here? She gave Ron a cake, eat it. He wondered what this is, it's so cold, what is this? Seeing that Runan seemed determined, Ron had to agree, okay. I'm an assassin, I can't eat it, other people give it to me. Surely he won't poison me. The cake was more delicious than I thought my eyes widened, what is this, in the demon world we have never tasted anything this sweet, it's even cold, what is this? Runan spoke up, how do you feel, the essence of the soul is flying around behind Ron, let's eat more, I want to eat more, he praised, so delicious. Runan replied ice cream, then he turned around and left, causing Ron to not understand what was going on, ha, huh? hey wait, Emperor Quintessence still wants to eat more, give me one more and then go. In the end, she still left without looking back, making the quintessence emperor feel strange and a little regretful. She's really strange, why don't you give me one more? Round thought to himself, he's worried about me, star. Run and love sweets like a child, it seems like there are only four of these. It seems like he returned one for me, he must have struggled mentally to keep it. He sighed, but I'm okay. They return to the room, they should repay him later, while the essence still lingers on the candy, then ask her for another one. As soon as Ron announced, I'm home, the butler exclaimed, it's been so long, why is it taking so long to come back, it's only once a week, are you hungry, I'll make you something to eat right away, even though you're out, refused, no I didn't, but it didn't seem to stop them from hurrying up. Judy is giving you a report, the report I sent to the Intermediate Martial Arts Hall. 
Ram asked again, what did they say? She replied, nothing much. They ordered me to investigate a little more closely, because your progress in swordsmanship and fighting skills was too fast, but it seems they weren't interested anymore because you couldn't use aura. Round did not forget to ask his mother, what about her? I think they're less interested in Lady Sylvia, Judy replied. If this keeps up, they'll take me back soon. Round doesn't feel right. No, I still have room to use her. Round trembled and asked, young master, are you deliberately not learning aura? Round replied, who knows? He asked back, what do you think? Judy couldn't help but feel scared. It's okay. I'm sorry for asking such an outrageous question. Seeing that there was nothing else to do, Raun allowed her to go out. Okay, you go out, yes. The elite emperor next to him complained. They thought you deliberately did not study. He replied, taking advantage of the situation and environment for your own benefit is a very smart thing to do. The fireball continued to complain. Why is it so difficult for you to train your aura? I've never been like that. But Raun himself doesn't know why, I don't know. So let's go practice. This surprised the elite emperor, no more. This guy should go to sleep, but his words can't stop round. You have to practice to do it. As soon as he opened the door, he was surprised by the person outside. It's Coach Lima, can't you sleep? Round asked, Why are you here? The coach immediately replied, I came to teach you. Then put your hand on his shoulder. I will tell you my attributes. Lima walked in front and the student followed. I thought you were going to teach me about attributes or something. Why are we walking like this now? He replied, don't complain anymore, just wait, he's a bit lazy but he's an excellent teacher. Round continued asking, how do you plan to teach me about mana properties in a place like this? Lima felt that he still couldn't forget the first time he saw her practice. Like a hot fire like Nam Thak. Completely different from normal skill training. She tried to adapt to the coldness of her body, along with the flames instead of removing them from her mana circuit. If Round can really become Thak and practice this skill. That must be a wonderful thing. This should be enough. He spoke up. Round was skeptical. In the middle of the forest, why are you here? A wind arose at Lima's command. The master wanted to create a wind blade to protect his lord. What I'm seeing now, is the wind you choose. Lima continued to say, teacher you really made it weaker so I could get used to it but I didn't seem afraid at all. I wasn't a child at all. Since I was born, I have felt this wind because I am an elf but you are a human. Also, your mana veins are filled with cold air so it will be more difficult for you. There are many types of wind, warm, cold, or sharp. I want a wind blade that can pierce through anything. And I got it. I have to find my thing. Think of the fire I want to have. Round replied, but this is the north. Unless you set fire to this forest, it's impossible to see a proper fire. Lima laughed. If that's the case then we'll be beheaded right away. But there is a place that is very suitable for you. Lima said and led round to a smithy. Hey old man, I'm here, the blacksmith replied. I don't know why the fire started, it turned out to be you. Lima seems close to this person. It seems like tonight has failed again, Round looks around, where are we? Lima replied, this is where the hottest and brightest fire in the north is. A coal forge. The blacksmith asked Lima, what did you bring this time? He replied, hey, it's the homeowner's nephew. The old man lamented. I'm just a retired old man, unless the homeowner comes here himself. While Raun was very surprised, what? Is this really fire? In my previous life, I saw countless flames. Self-made bonfires, high-level fire magic created by mages and so on. But these fires, image temperature, flame, the image of the fire I want to get. As soon as he got close, the blacksmith turned down the fire. Ah, he turned it down. He introduced, my name is Valken and warned him, if you want to be polite, you can go somewhere else. This name shocked Round Valken. The artist is famous all over the world for his skills, truly a Valken. The creator of Glenn Ziegheart's true heavenly sword, but he disappeared 30 years ago, and yet he's here. Round also quickly introduced, nice to meet my grandfather Round Ziegheart. Valka asked Lima, have you told him about me? He shook his head and refused, number. Lima introduced to Round, that old man is Ziegheart's artisan, he has retired. Yes, he's a retired artist, but he's been watching the fire here for 10 years. He looks after this fire all year long, so that the children don't have a proper fire anywhere else. 
Lima opened his mouth to ask for help. Can you help me with something? The old man spoke up. Why don't you go to those blacksmiths? He confessed that there were too many eyes and ears there. I didn't want anyone to see him practice this skill before he mastered it. Valka asked again, what do you mean? Because Raun is Sylvia's son, Lima replied. This caused the old blacksmith to turn and look towards Raun. Raun spoke up, I won't bother you, please let me feel this fire. Valka replied I was making charcoal. Yellow coal, creates a fire much stronger than white or black coal, I've been doing that here for ten years. If you don't bother me, just do whatever you want. Raun becomes happy. Thank you, sir. Lima and Valka went out to talk. That's really kind although I didn't expect him to accept it so easily. He also promised that if he treated it well, I would bring you good wine. Valka replied, not because of you. He explained that the fire in the furnace was so bright that when the child entered, it was so strong that it broke the coals underneath. That child has the power to control flame. If it's round, Valka thinks he can make his dream come true. During the seven months of going to the smithy, Round thought about the image of the fire he wanted to have. Fire, I understand. It is said that fire is the most feared and powerful element, but if it can be controlled completely, then it is a different story. A tamed fire is stronger than any element. And the 10,000 fire shooting technique has also been awakened. He remembered Lima's words, imagine the fire you want to have. Images, images of the fire I need. Cut to Ruth's throat. Help Sylvia get the main line title. The path to my goal is full of darkness, I can't see anything. Every step lights the path with fire to defeat the monsters. An enduring flame, that's the fire, that I want to have. A chemical energy stronger than usual is flowing through my body. The temperature of this furnace space is seeping into my skin, I have to concentrate and catch it, feel it a little more. This is a completely unknown state, I can see my own subconscious right before my eyes. If I concentrate a little more, it's my turn, the voice of essence interrupted Ron's thoughts. Haven't we already told you that we will wait until the weakest person, freeze? I'm too subjective, why does it have to be at this time? I forgot he's been very quiet lately, but he's not my ally. A devil wants to take my life. Lucifer. Damn, it feels like my body is breaking into pieces, it's so hard to breathe, but if I move now I'll die, but if I stop using the fire cultivation technique, I'll die too. Round sweated, I had to focus my aura. To live, I have to think, I have to think, but the cold weakens him, but my mind is so sleepy. The quintessence emperor smiled maliciously, your struggles are truly beautiful. Do you think you can endure my strength like before, it's useless. Your body and soul are now mine. Your life's efforts are all in vain, you're no different from that guy who works in the kiln, but don't worry. I will surely avenge you. Round awakens, furnace furnace. Thanks for the suggestion, it's all or nothing. If I don't do anything, I'll die. Instead of absorbing the natural mana heated by the furnace, I will directly absorb mana from the furnace. A much stronger and hotter fire that can devour everything. Absorb it. What are you doing? Try. The blacksmith was startled. He wondered, what's going on? Why did the fire suddenly rise so high? I've never seen a fire this strong before. What's wrong with the furnace? He looked towards round Ziegert. However, I only saw him shivering. How could the furnace be cold like that? Valka walked closer. Hey, you, are you okay? Why are you shaking like a leaf? Say something. Lima suddenly appeared. He stopped Valka. Leave her alone. Don't touch her. Valka lost his temper. What are you talking about? He might die. But Lima asserted. Right now he's in a completely indeterminate state and we can't do anything. If we touch her, she will vomit blood and die. Valka couldn't help but worry, it's the cold you said, can't we do anything about it? Lima replied, not too dangerous. I can only pray, Raun, please don't die. At this moment, the essence emperor is screaming loudly, stop now, you can't do anything. Nonsense, I died instantly once. My previous life was so meaningless that in the end I still died without closing my eyes, I will definitely not repeat that. The temperature of the furnace increased, making Valka worried, if the temperature was too high, it would burn. It cannot withstand such a jump in temperature. Lima realized, the mana in the furnace was gathering in one place, Raun, you, is absorbing mana. On this side, Raun and Essence Emperor are having a fierce battle, causing an explosion. Lima panicked, 
Are you okay? Answer me while the blacksmith couldn't help but worry. From the fire? Round stood up to Lima's surprise. Kim fire. Round looks at the words you have read Van Tu Tu carefully. The consecutive lines that appeared on Van Tu Tu carefully had two stars thanks to the high temperature, the fire was created after the level up, the icy curse was melted with the durable attributes that disappeared, cold air gathered aura welding again. Round looked at the flower in his hand. The notice board continued to have two stars, thanks to the cold rage. Round put his hand on his chest and smiled. Everything is going better than I thought, I can develop right away. Round was surprised to look at the notice board that he did not expect to achieve so much, ha. Huh. Round with astonished eyes this set is a dream. It's all for me, just for a while, I have all my things to achieve to achieve already. The quintessence of the emperor frowned and said. It doesn't resign to screaming you, what is your spirit always weak? Round glanced at the quintessence of the emperor when he heard it said how could you endure? Round is full of confidence that we say that it is impossible not to misunderstand that. Round thought back to what he had said and silently exclaimed, but this time it was true that he almost died, I had to be more careful after this incident, that's for sure. The expression of the quintessence of the emperor is a bit more indignant, but Roth is still an enemy, I cannot let him see his weakness or secret. Round just woke up, Mr. Valken immediately asked if he was okay. Round responded, I'm fine, Mr. Valken asked you to have aura already. Round with a calm face is right thanks to him. Round looks back at the oven and said I'm sorry. Mr. Valken breathed a sigh of relief, he was okay. Mr. Valken is saying that I can build another furnace, suddenly something. What did Round ask? Mr. Valken went to the furnace. Then Mr. Valken used a shovel to dig under Ron's curiosity. Mr. Valken scooped up three pieces of coal. This is a golden coal, Mr. Valken thinks. Mr. Valken thought back to the talks about himself, but everyone said that he would come to the Lung Lung again and then he said he wanted to create a golden coal and for many years and then coal in the legend. Mr. Valken still comes to the furnace regularly no matter what others say, he thinks he has retired but is probably just bored. Mr. Valken was full of surprise, picked up three pieces of coal and said it seemed like he wasn't the only lucky one. He gave the shovel containing coal to see and tell him this is a golden coal. Mr. Valken explained more to round coal with stronger than white coal and longer than black coal, thanks to him. I had created what I tried to create many decades of thank you. Round waved my hand to say what I did, where. Valken's face is pensive. Vayan stood at him saying that every time he practiced here, the fire would burn strongly and his breathing made the fire burn more, the temperature from there spread everywhere. Valken continued I was just a rough, only working with a hammer but still knew what he did, thanks to him, so I wanted to ask him what was his goal round. Round repeat the goal. Round stood in the darkness of the past yes, what kind of swordsman did. Then Round decisively said I want to become a swordsman, never giving up no matter what opponent I face. Mr. Valken happily replied that he didn't expect a child to say such a thing, a swordsman never gives up. The two of them looked at each other, Mr. Valken said in three to five years, he would try to have a sword and when he thought he had a strong mind, then come to me, I will save them for that day. Round grabbed his hands and could not help but be surprised to ask Mr. Valken that he would train for me, I heard that he retired, Mr. Valken said that people were retired or back. Round left Mr. Valken to wave to him and silently should try until that time. One appeared on the mountain overlooking Ron and Mr. Valken said goodbye. That person was Mr. Rimmer, he stood there talking to himself, wondering what had happened, but the boy finally had an aura. Mr. Rimmer is both happy and right, making people really worried. Mr. Rimmer tilted his head back and asked me right. The patriarch stood solemnly listening to the Rimmer teacher asking the owner. Mr. Rimmer laughed loudly every day coming here because he was worried about him, but now he must be very afraid of relief. The patriarch rejected my teacher's words without coming here because of anxiety. Mr. Rimmer continues to talk to the patriarch because the temperature from the furnace and the purity of aura are extremely high, the boy has stabilized aura, really talented. The head of the clan frowned and said no, Mr. Rimmer was difficult to understand. The patriarch of Raun is going below saying it has turned his defect into an advantage. 
Run Arm stopped when going through the fifth training hall. Her face was full of anxiety when he came back. Run Arm thought of the talks of other students that he did not hear about Ron. He hadn't created Aura anymore seven months. Maybe he was not as good as rumored. Young Master or Lady Martha should take his position. Run Arm stood there, full of depression. She thought she wanted to help him. She said she had to repay those who helped me. Run Arm raised his head in surprise. She saw Ron coming from the door. Round said to the elite who followed me, "He said, 'Don't try. He said, 'Don't be arrogant.' One day, Round looked at Runan in surprise. Round walked towards Runan. Runan. Runan looked up at him. Runan opened the cake box I took out and told Ron to fight. Round was suddenly shocked by Rom's actions. Round picked up a cake to say that the cream last time. Thank you. Runan thought this cold air was much stronger and more comfortable. Runan looked blankly at Round. The quintessence looked at Ron eating the cake and said it was delicious. The quintessence of the emperor happily said it for a long time, but it was still the same as the other two left. Ron looked around and said, "You probably know that this is his food, so don't be so greedy and fix yourself." Ron put his hand on the cake box. "Thank you very well." Ronan asked, "You not to eat any more?" Ron said, "I ate one. Thank you." Ronan holding the cake box, asking Ron, "Did you feel good?" Ron sighed and said, "Yes." I'm better. Runan smiled at him. Then Runan turned and left. Ron watched Runan laughed as a strange girl. At this moment, Mister Rimmer was standing in front of the students, declaring that it would be boring for them to just practice all day. So this month he prepared something more special. The students have been practicing the foundation and cultivating for seven months. Then it's time for you to start your energy. Two practitioners stood under each other. Why did he naturally do that? I also wondered. Mister Rimmer smiled. Martha is interested in the Rimmer slot. Says they will play with each other within a month. Mister Rimmer continued to talk about how the results of those matches would affect their graduation ranking. While Mister Rimmer was saying that he advised the students to prepare for the upcoming month, suddenly a hand raised up saying, "Wait!" It was Martha. She said that the people who were falling still hadn't created aura. Everyone's eyes turned to Martha. The teacher Rimmer happily responded to the teacher who heard those children have created aura. Martha was stunned but never said anything. Martha glanced at Ron. Mister Rimmer said it was probably yesterday or today. Was not sure. Martha stared at Ron and said, "I finally had a chance. I thought I would be bored to death, but it took so long." Martha walked back to Ron and said, "You remember what I said? I don't listen to orders from people weaker than me." As he approached Ron. Martha suddenly said loudly that I've had enough with you. I'm sure you're also struggling with such an overwhelming position. Martha continued to say I would have this opportunity and solve him. Burren raised his hand to stop Martha. Burren told Martha Siegheart to stay back. Martha frowned when she heard Burren say he hasn't had his aura for a full day yet. Do you have any honor as a swordsman? Martha walked over and patted Burren on the shoulder and said, "Young master, our young master Burren." You grew up with such honor, so honor must be very important. Honor is something reserved for those who deserve it. Baron angrily called Martha's name. Martha just walked away, saying that those idiots also learned aura in just one month, but it took our top students six months straight. The other students started to talk about how even if they were highly skilled, it would take an average of seven months, which means this idiot is very incompetent. A swordsman who has not learned aura cannot become famous. No matter how good his swordsmanship is, but if he does not use aura, it is useless. Martha looked at Mister Rimmer and asked him if he thought this duel was because he wanted to change the top student. Right? Mister Rimmer replied that he did not know. Martha approached Ron's face, saying that he was the leader for so long until you backed up. Martha propped both of us up on her hips and said so. So, like I said, let's fight each other to choose the leader. Martha was shocked to hear Ron bluntly say no. Ron looked at her and said that if you don't have money, how can you gamble? If you want to bet on my first place, you have to offer something of similar value. Martha laughed. He still didn't understand his position, so he pretended to be stupid. No one was on his side here. Are you scared? Ron replied. Ron stood smiling slightly. Martha pretended to be dumb and asked what he just said. Martha hugged his stomach and laughed and said, "So funny." Martha straight and I can say it. I miss you. You want me to give something? Martha talked about something to Ron. This is the magic medicine my father gave me. It will strengthen my body and aura. 
Martha held up the medicine box in front of Ralph and said if you win, I will give you this, what do you think, it's not bad, right? Ralph said to the quintessence emperor, do you remember when I said I should wait until Martha was dealt with? The quintessence emperor appeared and asked what you said, Ralph replied I have something I want to get from Martha. The quintessence of the emperor saw Ralph and he confidently said this was our opportunity. A month passed. Martha looked at the calendar, which marked the end of a month. Martha was full of excitement, finally I had the opportunity to revenge. Martha thought about the fight with Ralph before coming here, she had never been beaten by someone her own age, that was the first time someone had beaten her. Martha is determined that this is an opportunity to take revenge on the humiliation he caused himself eight months ago. Martha walked away thinking that that bastard had only learned aura for a month and he couldn't beat someone like me who had been training for three years. Martha always reminded himself that he had to become stronger because he needed to save someone. Martha said this was the end of Rom Ziegheart. The teacher clearly shouted for everyone to pay attention. With a happy face, Mr. Rimmer said that observing the match has the same effect as participating in practice matches. You should carefully watch other students' matches and think about your moves in advance. Many students seemed nervous. Mr. Rimmer reassured them not to worry and just do their best. Mr. Rimmer said the first match was between Buran Ziegart and Dorian, Buran said yes. Doria was scared and raised her trembling hand to say, Sir, Mr. Rimmer looked over and asked what's wrong. Doria's face was full of fatigue and he told me to surrender. Buran looked at Doria in confusion, Mr. Rimmer said we haven't started yet. Doria quickly frowned and hugged her stomach and said she didn't feel well, she had a cold yesterday, so she still had chills and aches all over her body. Besides, she couldn't sleep anymore, it's true, teacher. Emperor Quintessence was filled with anger and said if he was my subordinate, I would have beheaded him on the spot. Round looked at Doria and replied Quintessence Emperor I could see that he would do that. Mr. Rimmer walked up to Doria while he was bending down and told Doria you should try to fight the Buran, you will definitely learn something even if you lose. Roria dejectedly said yes, I understand. Buran quickly took down Doria as the match began. Doria, defeated, lies on the ground and says I surrender. Mr. Rimmer came to Buran and said he still couldn't control his emotions, if he had fought properly, he would have defeated him in five moves, Buran turned away and said he was suddenly angry, then his attitude was. Mr. Rimmer reflects on Doria that why do you keep running away, I said you could do it but if you had fought back you would have lasted longer, Doria still lies motionless and says sorry but it's too scary. Mr. Rimmer can continue the match and then move on. The next pairing is Runan and Krin. Krin immediately held the sword towards Runan. Runan calmly faced Krin. Krin's face was filled with surprise when Runan counterattacked him. Krin felt confused with what was happening. When Krin's sword slipped from Mr. Rimmer's hand, he shouted enough. Mr. Rimmer seriously reminded Krin that he was too nervous and needed to relax when holding the sword, and Runan had a nice counterattack, but his aura still couldn't last until the end of the match. The competition continues. Everyone is attentively watching the final match because they are the last ones so they are already fighting very hard. In the arena a man and a woman are fighting hard. That's Martha. And Ran. Martha swung her sword in front of Ran. Ran firmly blocked Martha's blow. The two continued to fight fiercely. Martha was stunned when she couldn't block Ron's attack. Ron swung his sword past Martha, who backed away. Martha didn't expect that to happen. Martha raised her head and said, I didn't expect you to be able to block all my attacks. I have to admit that you're talented. Martha continued speaking but his talent was limited to swordsmanship. Martha suddenly laughed loudly. A half-hearted warrior like you who isn't good at using aura will never be able to shine. Martha raised her sword. She put force down her legs to prepare to attack. Martha jumped up with her sword in a downward slashing position. The sword descended with the force of Martha's attack. Ron raised his sword horizontally, trying to block Martha's attack. Ron wrinkled his face, trying to stop him. Martha's face was full of excitement and she said oh you can help but how long can you stay like this? Martha continuously attacked Ron. His ability to use aura is extremely important even more so than swordsmanship, after seven months. His ability can only create aura as small as a pea, so he has no chance of becoming a swordsman. Martha said that if you don't surrender, I will break your bones with the next blow. 
Round breaks Martha's attack. Round collected his sword and said that she always reminded people of her family's talents that they valued their talents a bit too much. Martha looked at him and said he must be annoyed because he has no talent, so I want to show him what real talent can do. Martha stood still as Round said if so then I will show you the opposite. Flames rise around Ron's sword, he says talent is not the most important thing. Martha opened her eyes in surprise. Round does the 10,000 fire cultivation technique, one fire technique. Martha stared at the fire and said what kind of fire it was. Martha thought to herself that it was dangerous, it was definitely not a normal fire, there was something hidden behind those flames. Martha's eyes still looked at the fire and admired how beautiful it was to the point of being so chilling. Martha stood silently and anxiously. Martha gripped her sword tightly with her hand. Martha said I must be serious, then Martha raised her sword to turn the ultimate dot-shaped crystal. Round looked down at Martha's sword and thought to himself, the ultimate point is that when I accumulate aura at a single point at this age, she was able to use it and that's impressive, I guess she plans to put more strength into her next attack. Martha firmly looked at Round and said I admit you are very strong, but you cannot block this move. Both of them advanced to attack at the same time. The golden flames of the 10,000 fire cultivation technique and the brown color of the ultimate point-shaped crystal collided. The students outside were all surprised and said the ground had cracked, what was going on? Smoke and dust flew all over the ground. Martha's sword was broken in half. Defeated Martha fell to the ground with half of her sword broken. Round stood and brushed his sleeves, everyone around was making noise, Martha lost again, what's wrong with his aura? Round looked at Martha lying motionless on the ground and said, I see that even though you're unconscious, you're still clenching your fists, you have something even better than skills or talents. That's her mental strength. Night falls on the mansion. Mr. Rimmer stood below the clan leader and heard him ask if Round had defeated Martha. Mr. Rimmer replied that yes, he completely defeated Martha even though Martha had practiced her aura for four years in advance, which is truly incredible. The clan leader confided that the fire I saw that day was truly as beautiful as a flower made of fire, so its power was much beyond its size, I'm sure everyone in the clan already knew about this, please tell me, guide the boy and don't let him become arrogant. Mr. Rimmer smiled comfortably and said of course. The patriarch asked about Martha but how was Martha, Mr. Rimmer said she was a bit shocked but the wound was easy to heal. Martha sat sadly on the bed and the teacher said that the biggest problem was the psychological shock. Round was planting pink flowers when the quintessence angrily told you to be a little more careful, be more careful or I'll freeze you. Round turned around and said there's nothing you can do, stop shouting loudly, the essence emperor's loud voice is because of your ability to resist elements. Round thought back to the night after he defeated Martha, the magic pill he received had greatly increased his stats. At that time, the information board showed that the fourth fire ring had formed, the level four fire ring was strengthening the body and soul, strength, agility and endurance had increased, physical strength reduction had disappeared, mana induction had gone, lost. Round continued thoughtfully, thinking more precisely, what he had achieved so far was now effective thanks to this pill, many things were enhanced, but the most outstanding thing was level four water resistance. The notification was showing the words water resistance level 4. Round told himself that thanks to that, Martha's attacks had no effect on him. Round continued to plough the soil for the flowers because today was the last day of vacations so I wanted to go out to the garden for a bit. The Tin Tin Emperor once again raised his voice and yelled at you idiot, you have to dig deeper, otherwise, what are you doing? Round tiredly thought to himself, why am I working in the garden and I have to listen to this guy's blabbering? Round said that you have to use your hands to keep the roots from breaking, Round wondered why he knew so much about gardens. Essence de happily said that when I was in the demon world, I always filled the garden with ice flowers, the demons respected me when they saw the garden, Round scratched his head indifferently. Round was stunned to see Martha standing there silently looking at him. Martha still stood silently looking at Round. Round spoke first, she probably didn't come to cause trouble, so why did she come here? When Martha remained silent, Round thought what was she thinking, I thought she was very mature but now she's really childish, now that story isn't important. Martha suddenly said I want to fight Round Ziegheart. Round turned his head away and said it was pathetic that she still hadn't admitted defeat, 
Martha stiffened and said I didn't say I didn't admit defeat. I just didn't understand why so I came to find out. Martha was surprised that Round had anything to gain from me. Round sat at the flower tree and looked up and told Martha that when the loser comes to challenge the winner, he should at least bring something as a gift. Martha started to get angry, wondering why she had to pay for fighting. Round calmly said, but for me, it's necessary. Martha worriedly thought, seeing that he didn't want to fight at all, what should I do? Martha glanced at the flower bush next to her. Martha thought about whether she should step on these flowers or not. Then she raised her foot and asked Brown, it was a surprise that he really liked flowers. Brown said not really, making Martha's expression confusing. Brown planted flowers with his hands and said I don't like flowers, I don't understand why people like flowers, I only garden for my mother. Martha was angry and couldn't do anything. Then Martha turned around and left, leaving me alone. Ron's mother is here. Ron's grandmother is here. Round was surprised to see his mother coming. Sylvia walked up to Round and said I was wondering where you were. Sylvia with a face full of joy asked Round, but is that your friend, your new friend from practice? Martha turned to look at Ron's mother. She guessed it was Sylvia Ziegart, the woman who left her family for a man and returned to save her child, the one who bravely acted for her child. Sylvia pointed at Martha and smiled and said with black eyes and hair, you must be Martha, it's nice to meet you. Round held my hand to stop her, she's not your friend, let me handle things here, Sylvia was confused, mom just wanted to say just talking to my friends. Sylvia quickly went out to ask Martha, she heard that you fought with Round, were you injured? Martha was a little confused and said I'm fine, Sylvia smiled and said honestly, why was she so worried? Martha blushed when Sylvia touched her cheek and said she heard that Daniel had brought a talented child to her and she was very lucky, both talented and beautiful. Sylvia excitedly clapped her hands and asked Martha why did you come here? Martha timidly replied that she just wanted to talk to Round about something, after she finished talking, she left. Sylvia grabbed Martha's hand and said she should stay and eat with us, she couldn't let Round go home hungry, Martha was confused and didn't understand why. Martha was pulled away and suddenly said something. Round and Martha sat opposite each other at the dining table. Ron's mother happily served the food. Round couldn't believe his eyes when he looked at the food for Martha. What do you think my mother is so gentle today? Sylvia was introducing to Martha that Round loves meat soup so she always cooks this dish. During the meal, Sylvia continued to talk to Martha. You are one year older than Round. Martha replied yes. You are 15. Sylvia continued. Did you have any difficulty practicing? Martha still gently said, not really. Martha sat and ate silently while Ron's mother always said that we have a very good chef, but the meat here is not as good as the meat at the main house so maybe it's a bit longer than the meat you usually eat. Sylvia gently placed her hand on Martha's shoulder. Then she gently reminded Martha to chew carefully so as not to upset her stomach. Martha thought back to her mother, who also reminded her that chewing carefully doesn't make your stomach hurt. Young Martha with short hair happily agreed with her mother. Martha thought while continuing to eat. At the end of the meal, Martha said it was delicious, thank you. Martha bowed to Sylvia, she told her to take care of Round, okay. Round stood behind in confusion and asked what the hell was going on, I was sure she came here to fight, what did she win, the tin tin replied maybe so. Martha left the mansion thinking that Round must think she was crazy. Martha's face was thoughtful but her eyes were so similar to her mother's that I couldn't refuse her. Martha related from Sylvia's expression to her mother's, her face, hair and voice were all very different. But at that time I had the same feeling as when I was with my mother. Martha thought about the meal with her mother. Things from the past kept coming back to Martha after her mother was kidnapped by the white blood cult bastards and I was adopted by Daniel. I decided I would never lose until I found her and I kept my promise, that until now. But that day I lost to Round. Zeekhart adopted me because of my talent, but if I lose like that I might be kicked out. Martha was stunned, thinking that her father was a gentle person, but what if that was just pretending, then I had no hope of finding my mother. Martha sadly lowered her face, showing that she could not lose. As soon as Martha entered the door, someone said Martha, you're home, you're coming back later than I thought, Martha walked up and asked if you were waiting for me, the man said I was waiting to deliver the letter Mr. Daniel wrote to you, letters. Martha took the letter, somewhat incredulously, asking if her father had written a letter to me. The other person replied that it was correct, 
it was written right after the match. The content of the letter was written, Martha congratulates you on losing your first match, a loss does not make you a loser, so don't be too upset, but think about the reason why you lost, that will help you improve, I also wanted to come comfort you, but the mission took longer than I expected, I'm sorry for not being by your side right now. Martha looked closely at her father's letter. At the end of the letter Martha's father wrote, I'm still looking for your mother, I haven't given up yet, so neither will you. Martha left and told father that I will remember and that I am very grateful to him. The man bowed his head and said yes, mom. Martha closed the door, having lost miserably. Martha took the knife not because she was subjective or anything, she just lost. Martha used the knife to cut her own hair. Now I need to accept defeat and move forward, I can't humiliate my father. Her hair fell to the ground, Martha decided that if she pretended it never happened, she wouldn't learn anything and would be too embarrassed to face her father. Martha put her hands on the table, let's start again, I'll try my best to move forward, I'll leave this stupid and pathetic past behind. Martha looked in the mirror with her newly cut short hair, thinking she would become stronger. Yesterday, the students were surprised and asked each other what was going on, what was wrong with Miss Martha. Martha went to Ron and called Ron Ziegheart. Then Martha said I won't make excuses for what I did but I will keep my promise. Ron sat in the chair looking at Martha's promise. Martha turned around and said I mean the loser has to listen to the winner, that's all I want to say. Ron sighed in surprise, even if I promised, I didn't expect her to obediently accept it. Ron looked at the back of Martha leaving and thought that Martha must have changed in that short period of time, even though she was young, that quality was very precious. Martha angrily kicked her foot towards Doria and shouted, Why are you standing in front of me like that? Get out. Doria was scared and I apologized, but it seemed like she was just doing that to me, Ron thought. The new year has come to the academy, although it is small, many things have changed. Ron and Martha were both wearing uniforms, Ron looked at Martha and thought, contrary to everyone's thoughts, Martha still did as she was told after the new year passed. As for Burren, Ron saw that he had become calmer and more trustworthy. As for Runan, her sword became sharper than before even though her expression remained pale. Ron practiced with his sword, while I put my life in danger to practice, which became a daily occurrence. Two other students stood there watching Ron practice and said to each other, is it possible that we just learned that technique and he mastered it in just half a day? Surely he learned it first. How could he master it so quickly, so? Mr. Rimmer stood silently listening to the student's commotion, but he stood still and closed his eyes for a while, right? His posture was even better than the teacher's. Mr. Rimmer was extremely excited and told the clan leader in disbelief, he must have used his brain to record all those images, he was a real monster. The clan head looked at the teacher and said are you his personal butler or something? Every time you see me you just talk about it all, Mr. Rimmer smiled happily so I know what you mean and I know you also want to know about you that's it. Mr. Rimmer saw something unusual. Mr. Rimmer looked down at the palace and asked, but the servants in the main building seemed very busy, are they preparing something? The clan leader replied that he had not prepared anything. We were just about to have guests arrive, Mr. Rimmer was curious and polite. The clan leader explained that the Owen Kingdom's envoy would arrive in a few days. The Owen Kingdom, one of the six kingdoms located in the center of the continent, one of the parties that still maintains a peaceful relationship with Zegit and rarely interacts with the others, is a kingdom of knights that values values, of swords and martial arts. Mr. Rimmer looked at the head of the clan and wondered who the envoy was from the Owen Kingdom, the head of the clan replied that they announced that he was the third prince, but Duke Tartan was probably the real representative, Mr. Rimmer asked Tartan which crazy person eventually became the Duke, Asian. Mr. Rimmer continued to talk to the clan leader, wait a minute, the third prince is probably still young, probably about the same age as Ron and Burren, the clan leader replied I don't know, I have never learned about him. The clan leader told Mr. Rimmer you should also tell the students to behave properly, Mr. Rimmer doesn't understand the fifth training ground either. The clan leader sternly said that the apprentice knights would escort the third prince and they said they wanted to observe how the swordsmen practice, we can't let them see Zegit's bad image. Mr. Rimmer stroked his chin thoughtfully, and the third prince and apprentice knight of the Owen kingdom were about the same age as Ron. Mr. Rimmer smiled slightly, 
thinking the plan would be quite interesting. The clan leader turned to look at you as if he were plotting something. The students are confused. We will fight the apprentice knights of the Owen Kingdom. Mr. Rimmer stood above and explained further. Yes, you probably heard that their envoy was coming to visit. The third prince also came and he said he wanted to fight with you. The students wondered, but why so suddenly? The students looked at each other worriedly. Mr. Rimmer assured them, why are you scared? I told you that a swordsman must always be ready to swing his sword even if he is sleeping. Mr. Rimmer smiled at his student. Everyone continued to talk about hearing that he wanted to visit the practice field on Friday instead of us. Why did he suddenly change his mind? Mr. Rimmer had come to tell the third prince earlier. His highness heard that you have visited the training ground on Friday. Judging by your expression, they must have disappointed you. The third prince heard from Master Rimmer that if you have time, please come visit the training ground on Thursday, I will impress you. Mr. Rimmer told the students that they were surprised, he announced it too suddenly, let's meet them first and then come to a conclusion. Mr. Rimmer shouted for everyone to come in, then the third prince and the others entered. The swordsmen entered, they were the pride of the Owen kingdom, the apprentice knights. The third prince introduced himself, pleased to meet you. My name is Green de Owen. Rown observed the third prince carefully. So he was the third prince of the Owen kingdom. He was very excellent even though he was young. Looking at him, he was probably the strongest among them. The third prince stepped inside. Mr. Rimmer smiled and asked Rown what about you? Are you excited to fight with them? Rown stood looking at the third prince and thought to himself that the prince in the middle could be a good opponent to practice the water wave technique and the star sword technique he had just learned. Round tells Mr. Rimmer no I want to fight him. Mr. Rimmer announced to all the students, if the top student is excited, then everyone must agree and let's start the match. We need a total of 20 people, follow Round and choose who you want to fight. Mr. Rimmer suddenly added that he forgot something important. The students stood in bewilderment when Mr. Rimmer said he had bet this month's salary on him so they had to win, if they lost he would kill them. Brown stood in front of the other students and said this should be enough. Brown tells everyone to observe the knight they will face first. Brown carefully reminded them to carefully observe their hands. A practitioner spoke up, they were trembling. Brown continued, from the outside, they seem confident, but they're just like us, they're just trainee soldiers around our age and are nervous when they're about to fight. The other students stood listening and Brown was still saying that we are not inferior to the kingdoms in terms of hard work, our sweat and tears will yield worthy results. Brown encouraged everyone not to worry and do our best to show them how good we are. Everyone spoke loudly and clearly. Brown continues to instruct everyone that I will decide the order. Brown is determined that the first match is very important because it will help everyone's morale, that's why I will send someone who will definitely win. Brown looked at Martha, Martha would enter the first battle. Brown asked Martha if she could do it, Martha waved her hand and said okay, I'll finish it quickly. The students outside were very confused when the night teacher was on the opponent's side. Wait is he really the same age as us? Martha looked very small compared to the guy on her opponent's side. The others wondered why she was so small. She looked like a real knight. The guy from the opposing side introduced me as the fighter from the Owen Tasha kingdom. Your body is in very good condition even though you are young. I think we will have a good match. Martha was still standing there. The size difference was so big that even if she called Miss Martha, it would be very difficult for everyone to continue talking. Martha's face was filled with confidence that the match was good, I would win, stop talking nonsense and go ahead. The third prince was surprised by Martha's strength. She is overwhelming the opponent, the swordsman of the second training area is really strong. They live by the name Zeet, and in terms of skill, they are certainly capable of matching the knights of this kingdom. However, Friday's training grounds were disappointing. Even though they were well trained, they couldn't even compete with the Robert family's trainee group. But it seems that this training area also has very talented confidences. Over here, Lima is talking to the instructor of the army from Orwen. Yesterday it seemed like he suddenly appeared and invited me to come with him to the fifth training area. It's because of this, Lima. Lima replied, Being able to train with one of the six knight orders of the empire is a rare opportunity. I think this will be a good lesson for us. It is hard to believe that the words emanating from the person who have been called a genius swordplay. Lima saw that and immediately said, I should go back to my usual behavior, 
do you want to bet a little with me? The or when coach didn't seem surprised. That betting habit still hasn't stopped. Ha, huh. what do you want to bet? Lima explained, there will be 20 practice matches in total. And then there will be a prize for the winner. Wouldn't it be more fun if we bet on something instead of just watching? Orwen's coach is confident. They have all been properly trained at Orwen. But wonder if your kids can win. It seems you have a lot of confidence in your apprentices. Lima also refused to give up. But I also have my faith. On this side, Martha is completely overwhelming the opponent. Her opponent also admitted this. Why is she so strong? She delivers the finishing blow to her opponent. Winner. Martha, Raum watched the match, I took back what I said, I thought her swordsmanship had become more moderate after the fight with me. But on the contrary, both her speed and strength had increased, Martha was pleased with her opponent's defeat, only depending on her strength, yet she didn't dare to use her full strength when she threw the first attack, stupid guy. Raum felt that this match was really interesting. While the elite emperor next to him seemed to disagree, it was interesting, Watching two ants fight is very interesting, I'm bored, let's die. Round spoke up, the dog called the cat hairy, making him angry again, hum, remembering the time when I was in the demon world. Quintessence to babble, even with younger devils like that fighting, it's much more interesting, Round couldn't stand it anymore so he knocked on his head, it's too fun to be quiet. The fight continues, next. The 18th battle, Ronan and Idelia, Round reminded her, Ronan, it's your turn. Um. The two people who were called stepped up to face each other. Idelia doesn't seem to like her opponent. Are you running? That absent-minded look. I really don't like it. After saying that, fierce fire radiated around her. Runnin' is no different. I don't like fire. The surrounding air condenses, forming a series of cold air. The two rushed into battle. Idelia swung her sword and slashed towards Runnin's image, over there. She was surprised to see nothing in the mist an illusion. Idelia was also surprised to be more bewildered when I felt a blade on the shoulder. People outside announced, the 18th match, run and victory. Idelia has no opinion on the result, hum, I lost, but the last match was very good, but it seems Ronan doesn't even care. She walked towards Raun, did you watch the match just now, he praised, your footwork has improved a lot, very good. Ronan thanked the compliment and then sat down on the ground, thanking him. Lima laughed happily after watching the match, win or lose, it was still a beautiful match, the atmosphere is gradually getting hotter, let's continue with the 19th match. Next match, Buran and Seren, let's move forward. Seren introduces, I am Seren Castle, an apprentice knight. On this side, Buran also introduces myself, I am Buran Zigardi, a trainee. Outside, Round secretly judged the strength of Buran's opponent, this Seren is quite strong except for the third prince, he is the strongest among the rest. As soon as the sound started, the two rushed into each other. The match was fierce. Buran feels that both techniques are quite similar, so if you lower your guard even for just a second, it will be enough to measure the limit. And he is probably thinking the same thing. At the end of the match, both swords were broken. The people outside witnessed not trembling, the swords of both of them were broken, then... Lima announced that the result of the 19th match was a draw. Round compliments Buran, well done, Buran, that apprentice knight is the strongest on their side. But he didn't seem very satisfied with his results, what does that mean, if I stood up to fight for Zihart's honor, then at any cost I must win. Round put his hand on his shoulder, don't worry, I will win this last match, and bring glory to the Zihart family. Third Prince Greer looked at the person in front of him, should I fight him? The martial power I feel from him is too ordinary. He spoke, are you the direct defender of Zeitz? Raun denied, no. This makes Greer seem uncomfortable, well, I didn't expect to have to fight like this. He doesn't seem to want to fight Raun, I want to fight one of those three. He said to Lima, Mr. Lima, I have a proposal, Lima asked, what proposal? Greer offers to fight Ronan and Martha, I don't think those two are tired yet. Can I fight them after defeating him? Lima quickly agreed, Well, it's okay with me, but you have to win. Greer confidently told him to warm up, the match will end quickly. Greer takes a stance and prepares to attack, I won't use aura to save energy. Over here, Orwen's coach is discussing with Lima, What's with that monster, Lima? If I can't find out, he's too obscure. Lima wondered, 
You're not that blind, are you? If you knew, why didn't you warn the third prince? The coach admitted, third prince seems a bit underestimating Ron. He will soon become the future of the Orwen kingdom. But that day has never known losing. Teaching him a little about losing here is also a good idea. But the third prince is very strong. Even if he is a genius in swordsmanship, he cannot win easily, Lima did not refute, it is not easy. He suggested a bet again, how about we bet? Again, I really like to bet, Lima bet on a drink, Orwen's coach agreed, what's the bet? He raised his hand. Ron will defeat the prince in the year of Chu. The battle has begun. Greer seemed to realize he had underestimated Ron. Orwen's coach was also surprised. Ron defeated Greer with a side kick. When he's done, he puts his sword back. It's probably over. Lima on the side laughed. Oh my god, not even five moves yet while the coach was amazed. Greer now realized his mistake. I had misjudged. I even guessed that for some reason he was ranked last. It's because he's too strong. Orwen's coach still couldn't believe it. That's a real cadet. His tactics and swordsmanship are completely perfect. While Lima was proud, that's why I said Ron will win. He announced, I will book a place in a luxurious place. The third Prince Greer hasn't given up yet. You stop, I haven't lost yet. Even though the coach tried his best to stop the match, he still insisted, I still haven't shown you my true skills, if from the beginning I fought hard. Martha stood outside and immediately said, Ah, is that a dog noise or something? Why can't a prince accept that he lost? It's so annoying. Just like someone I know, her statement made Burren a bit startled. Greer turned to look, she was, without letting him finish his sentence, Martha interrupted, Hey prince, I'm trying to be nice to you. Get out of here, you've lost. Idelia saw this and raised her voice, Shut up, you are talking to his highness the prince, Martha will never give up. He is the royal family, but I am the main line of this family. Should I be shy? Lima stopped before a fight broke out. That's enough. Let's hear Ron's feelings. Ron, you can choose what you want. Ron spoke up. The teacher had already placed the bet. The match was over so there was no reason to continue fighting. Greer bitterly admitted, I accept defeat. I misjudged you. I underestimated you right before the match. I'm very ashamed of this. He wants to ask for another chance to fight. Please fight me one more time. If I keep leaving like this, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Having finished speaking, he bowed. I beg you, Ron Zeet. Ron was a bit surprised. He didn't expect that day he would apologize and even destroy his sword. I thought that day he was just an arrogant prince. I agree, okay, but just this once, Greer happily, of course. Looking at the badge in his hand, Greer thought to himself, I was subjective so I underestimated it and lost. So this time I will fight with all my might, a huge amount of power radiates from him. The coach next to him wanted to stop, the third prince, that swordsmanship, but the third prince's will has been made up, this is not the time to hide his strength. He will fight round with all his might. Quintessence Emperor openly expressed his disdain, this guy is really stupid, he doesn't even know that you still hide your power there. It seems that Ron has no intention of letting the prince go this time. This time I can also win. Quintessence Emperor teased Ron. He has more aura than others and he is stronger than you. Just like his red and black life teacher, Ron asked him to bet. Do you want it? Quintessence Emperor has no reason what to refuse, of course. Rage wants to bet on the conditions. Win the third prince of Orwen kingdom. If you win add four to all stats. If you lose rage emotions increase by ten. Seeing that Ron was ready, Greer announced the start, so let's begin. After saying that, the two rushed into each other. The other students watched the match in amazement. Greer didn't hide his surprise. I used all my strength but he wasn't pushed back at all. He observed the person in front of him. Ron Zeet, is he a genius, or is he a monster? Okay, Greer is determined to fight to the end. I will fight him with all my might. Meanwhile, Ron also silently assessed the opponent, that must be Perez's sword technique that was only passed down to the heirs of the Orwen kingdom, looking at the magical convergence of that day in this sword move, Din must have exerted all his strength in next shot. Okay then go up, Greer said loudly, here is all my power, take this trick Ron Zeet. Ron observed the airflow around Greer, so that was Perez's sword technique, a type of sword skill that was only passed down to the heirs of the Orwen kingdom, 
he must have planned to put all his effort into the next attack. He tightened his grip on the sword. I already remember all the tactics the third prince used. It's time to use your ultimate move, the 10,000 fire technique, Cyclotus Sign. Greer was startled by this move. Even though Ron's side radiates great energy, golden fire destroys the sky. He hasn't given up yet. No, not yet. There is still this skill. After speaking, swing the sword towards the opponent. The two moves collided. Then the two of them continued to rush at each other. The battle was uneven. Greer gradually regained his confidence. I was able to repel his attacks. I was superior to him. While Rown is looking quite stressed, unexpectedly, a strong collision took place, causing Greer's sword to shatter. My sword light is this time also trying to deflect my attack. Rown flashed past Greer. He collapsed. Once again, the winner is Rown Ziegheart. Greer looked desperately at the sword in his hand. I'm definitely better than him in terms of speed and strength. Did he use his sword leg to reflect his sword's light? He said to Rown, the world is really big, isn't it? Greer raised his hand to reconcile. Thank you. Thanks to this match, I learned a lot. I admit that I lost. Rown also agreed. I also learned a lot. Greer is sorry for looking down on you. Sorry for underestimating you just now. Just pretend that I don't have eyes for people. It's okay. Can I ask your age? Rown replied this year I'm coming up 14. This answer couldn't help but make Greer sigh. Ha. Huh? I lost to a swordsman younger than me in both swordsmanship and personality. He brought me to Rown, took it. He asked in surprise, what is it? That is proof that the third prince of Orwen, Greer de Orwen, is ready to accept any favors from you in the future, he said and put a golden badge in your hand, Rown exclaimed, and then give it to me, so precious. Greer confessed, I lost, but you really made me realize, I feel like I just realized a lot of things, I think I'm lucky to have lost to someone like you. Surely one day we will meet again, hopefully that day, you will still be stronger than me, Greer said and turned to leave. I think wanting to catch up with you in terms of strength is also very interesting. Greer said to Lima, Coach Lima, we lost. You won the bet. Lima couldn't hide the joy in his voice. Okay. Greer ordered his men, Duke Tartan, let's go home. We have work to do now. Rown is still not surprised by the prince's actions. In his previous life, completing tasks without being paid was normal. Now, to be rewarded like this, I'm so surprised. What a strange feeling, he thought as he looked at the badge in his hand. This life surprised me in ways I could not have expected. So that's the lesson you learned from the recent battle. Planhead Glenn was talking to the third prince. Greer admitted, yes, I thought I was the best, but he helped me reconsider and learn many things. He is like a mature swordsman. I have fought many battles in the Six Kingdoms, but this is the first time I have seen a trainee as strong as Rown. He's younger than me, but I can learn a lot from him. He continued to explain, that's why I plan to return after this meeting. I want to quickly practice and study, slowly the gigs I learned from him. Glenn had no reason to refuse, okay, but send my thanks for the letter to the king, Greer happily replied, okay, thank you. Your highness, hearing the duke suddenly call, Greer replied um, what's wrong duke, do you want to say something? He talked about the recent battle, the fact that he showed off his strength and used the Perez sword skill in the battle with Round. I think that was a bit too much. Is it so important to hide your strength? Hearing that Greer smiled bitterly, I know, I'm a bit too honest. The Duke also wanted to talk about the card he gave him. Giving him the card was a bit too much, but Greer refused, no way. I think that Round Ziegheart showed good intentions towards me. He might have been very angry because I underestimated him, but in the end he still treated me politely, so I just reciprocated, that's just good intentions. Moreover, Round to show me a secret sword skill, the duke still seems unsatisfied with the answer, that's true but. Greer continued to say, and that the card was an investment, making the duke feel confused, what do you mean? The third prince believes that he has the skills, personality and spirit at that age, and for sure in the future, he will become an excellent person even though he is not a direct relative. Wouldn't it be beneficial for me to be close to such a person? The duke was surprised, you have planned very far, haven't you? I grew up in the royal family. If I can't think like that then I should die. He thought about the name Round Ziegheart. I'm very curious but I wonder how strong he will be the next time we meet. Over here, 
The Ziegart family's butler is talking to the family head. He must be very happy to see his grandson recognized by another country's prince, homeowner. The old man doesn't seem to want to admit it. What are you talking about? The butler continued. It's been a long time since I've seen you smile so warmly. It seemed that Glenn himself was confused and laughed. The butler continued. Yes, you laughed when the prince mentioned young master Ron's name. He stubbornly refused to admit it. Loen, you're already old, you must be wrong. Returning to important matters, the butler asked for your opinion about what Duke Tartan said. Householder, I'm a bit satisfied with what Duke Tartan said. What do you plan to do? This caused Glenn to fall into contemplation. Before that, Tartan came to report to you. I have something to tell you besides the prince's letter. I have word from the Emperor of the Kingdom of Orwen and La Croix Alberton de Orwen II to convey to you. The five shadows are in action again. Lima stood in front of the students and praised them. They did very well in the practice match with Orwen Kingdom's trainees. It seems like everything is ready. Next week I will prepare a special skills training session for you. This sentence makes many people break out in cold sweat, special skills. One of them asked, Ah, what is this special training session? Lima replied, Well, calling it special training is not quite right. He warned, It must be a real battle. You should also prepare yourself to sweat and cry. South of the Ziegheart territory, then in the mountains there is a band of bandits calling themselves the Snow Tiger Claws. Their accomplices are in the south and north, and they make a living by collecting tolls on the roads here, but recently they seem to be more active. They killed and robbed merchants more often. The students immediately asked, is our mission to destroy them? Lima did not confirm, it is true that it used to be like that. This answer makes many people find it difficult to understand what happened. Has the mission changed? Why don't we ambush? Lima replied, we can't. They ambushed and killed a house in the south, then burned everything. The answer made the students scared. Lima declared, that's why the mission was changed to track them down and then destroy them. Although they are just a group of bandits, they are all anonymous users of spiritual weapons, so you are not allowed to be subjective. At the end of the conversation, he announced, we will depart tomorrow night, please get ready. On this side, Runan is practicing swordplay. The practice seemed to frustrate her a bit. I wanted to practice the posture a little more before departing, but things didn't go as I expected. I don't know where my attacks go wrong. Ron's sword thrusts are very flexible and smooth. I don't know where my problem lies. Looking towards the practice house, Ronan had an idea. Ron is probably practicing there too at this time. Should I go ask him? Then she felt discouraged. I guess I don't want to bother him. And determined to practice on my own. At the end of the workout, I was weaker than before, but my movements were smoother. That's all for today. Runa planned to go over and say hello to Ron before leaving. I guess Ron is still practicing, so let's say goodbye to him before going home. She suddenly remembered, ah, your mother told you to come home early this weekend, I bought some ice cream. Thinking so, Runa quickly went home, let's go home, ask him tomorrow, when I see him tomorrow, I'll give him some ice cream. Runan, suddenly someone called. Runan turned around, who was that? She seemed to lose her temper because of the person in front of her. That person suddenly said, long time no see, Runan's voice trembled, Syria. Syria just looked at her and smiled. He came closer to Runan. Don't you feel happy to see your brother again? You make me so sad like that. For some reason, Runan suddenly became very scared. Didn't I tell you not to make that face? He knelt down. Anyway, the Lima training was quite good. You have become stronger than I expected. I'm so proud of you, Runan. Syria's face suddenly darkened. But you won't risk your life to participate in a war or some kind of confrontation, right? This caused Runan to fall back in fear. He stood up and said, have you forgotten everything I've done? I guess I have to remind you. Syria suddenly said, the squirrel I raised before was named Ruby. Runan couldn't help but be scared, brother. Syria says, you remember how Ruby died because you didn't listen to me. She screamed, brother. Runan ran to stop him. Wait a minute. But it was too late. Runan recalls the horrible scenes. She held her head and screamed loudly. Runan became more and more panicked. CYRIA stepped closer. Runan, remember you are mine. Until the day of judgment comes. Don't do anything dangerous. All you need to do is survive until I tell you otherwise. Suddenly a blow hit them. 
Syria blocked it easily, while Runan was still panicking. But now Round stood before her. Behold. Who are you?